What's going on, everybody? Rogers Base here with Season 3, Episode 28 of Japan Time. It has truly been a long time since the last episode. Since the last episode of the show, Reggie retired and is no longer president of Nintendo of America. There have been two Nintendo Directs. Kingdom Hearts <laughs> 3 was released. Evo killed Melee. And Space Jam 2 got a release date. So this has been a wild two months. But we are back we are better than ever. We are stronger than ever. We are Captain Marvel level strength this week. Of course, we've got the Triforce of Awesome. We've got Shofu. You talking wow, to me? really, Shofu? Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm talking to you, man. My name I'm is Young Burnt to you. Toast. What you talking about? All right, about? Young, all right, we got Young Burnt Toast. <laughs> In the we've flesh, got... <laughs> getting that bread. And we've got hot. Zeph. That's why it's burnt. Okay, yeah. Shofu. All right, it's a quick intro, buddy. All right, don't, don't. don't, don't, don't. All right, quick intro. All right, we got Shofu, we got Zef. Hello, Zef. Hello. We've got Coast. Hey, what's up? We've got Mike. Hi. We've got Viram. Good evening. And we've got very special guest, Tito. Hello. Where the hell's McDareth at? Yeah, I, he was just he here. He said he's going to be out for a bit. Yeah, okay, yeah, so McDareth is out for a bit. He said he don't fuck with you. He didn't say that to me. Well, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Word on the ball. Okay, wow. So, I mean, where, where do we begin? There is, there's so that much way. stuff to talk about. I guess the first thing we should talk about, the very first thing, Zach, what are you because doing, this is a Smash Bros. Oh, you can unmute. And I'm, I'm just going to say, I'm doing my nice little intro. I was setting up for this, and all you guys just talking right over me. All right. That's how it's going to be. I'm canceling Japan time. All right? No more Japan time episodes. This is it. That's you guys waited two months. Anyways. I mean, you're, you're right. All right. So, anyway, the first thing we're going to talk about is piranha plants because we actually have not done an episode of japan time since piranha plant was dropped in the game and of course it's a new smash character this is a smash bros podcast so we got to talk a little bit about the plant gang guys what are your overall thoughts on piranha plants yeah I, yeah he's fun he's, he's not fun. great but he's fun he's hilarious yeah I, he's got a nice color he's he's a per, it's a perfect representation of what a piranha plant should be it's not a very strong character Okay, don't get it twisted though. Anybody can get clapped by my piranha plant. My shit clean, bro. Ooh. Actually, show oh, since really? the last time since the last time we did the show, I saw you uh, at Bandai Namco, and we were staying at the same hotel, and we played some Smash Bros. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty uh, I'm a pretty decent piranha plant. You're a lot better than he's a, Roger's way better than you would think he is because of how he right. Like, Shit he says. Because I'm man. usually pretty bad. No, I, I'm not taking that as an insult. I take that as no, a compliment. No, I'm serious. Because the shit, I know, yeah. he talks like he's terrible at Smash, but he's actually not at all. So, yes. Oh, man clicks with the weird plant. character. There you go. Thank you, Shofu. That was yeah, very isn't nice. That your, isn't that your main? Parada Plant has become my main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over it's Game weird. Watch? It's like, well, yeah. So, I played Game & Watch <sighs> for years. And Game & Watch, Game this Watch game just... Yeah. He, he kind of got screwed up. Order so. is dick oh my yeah, god listen, but it's so funny dude you're not gonna tell me it's not hilarious no i mean i still play game and watch occasionally but he did get bumped down to secondary now my two mains are piranha plant and pac-man so and pac-man was my secondary in smash 4 so he kind of got bumped up piranha plants there now i like the two of them but yeah i'm no longer a, a game and watch main which i never thought i would ever say ever but uh not very good anymore man not very good anymore every single one of my friends that played game and watch dropped them yeah, which is a shame. Sad. I know it's a shame. Hopefully, they give him a buff in uh in Smash version 3.0, which I guess could be the next thing we talk about. So during the last Nintendo Direct, the last true Nintendo Direct, not including the Pokemon Direct, uh, we got the announcement of Smash 3.0. There have been tons of rumors since then that this might give us home run contests, that this might give us additional modes like a stage builder, and of course, we're going to get Joker with uh, version 3.0. Kind of weird that we didn't see any gameplay of Joker at all beyond uh, a look at his character model from behind, which was a little weird. Didn't hey, even get to see his character, character so model. They're saving, the, they're saving the trailer for later, man. Yeah. I mean, they're probably saving it for the Persona event that's happening at the end of the month, yeah. 
um, where they get the announcement of you know Persona Five coming to Switch and Joker and Smash. But uh, regardless, I was expecting more. But before we move on from that, you know, what are your thoughts overall on this 3.0 thing, and do you think any of those rumors are true regarding additional modes? And what are things you want to see? It, it's I cool. want to see online squad strike. That's all I want to see. Yeah. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. The fuck is Can it? Can I get online, online stage morph, morph, please? Hell no. Fuck out. <laughs> why? Why are all these features? Why are all these features not online? You know, I'm, Nintendo's some dog shit. <laughs> I just, I just want a load of quality of life stuff. Yeah. I want to like be able to, to use hazardless stages in training mode. I, I would like that. Can they Can't not make the song, Can they not make the song restart every time I try to? Reset my character, please. Like, what can, the hell is can that? Can it not take like, eighty-five years for my character color to reload? Oh my god, bro! How do you how do you pick your character and, the, and none of the uh, PNGs pop, popped up for like ten seconds straight, bro? That shit is so stupid. But uh, I don't know. There's not a lot that I would that I would want. Didn't the mode stuff get like data mined to like hint towards that stuff, or was it just like? A word of mouth rumor. No, people looked at a blurry picture and said, oh, that's stage builder. So when it's not going to be stage builder, they're going to get sad. I mean, is anyone really going to miss stage builder if it doesn't actually come back in version 3.0, though? Like, man, people are going to say that stage. I don't care. Oh, they played man. it one, once ever. Man, that's I, I stage where you can, uh... The only clean thing about stage builder was Smash Get Ball. That was it. <laughs> no, no, no. What The mini game where you had to try to stay alive with snakes down B. That, that was the Oh, that was the uh, one. I know what you're talking about. What's it called? Uh, Duelist something? Yeah, something like that. So we might get that. I don't know. We might get some cool stuff in the Smash 3.0. Break the I, targets I think, would be fun to have. Of the stuff that Chofa brought up, I, I really do think that online squad strike would be awesome. I've been playing more of that recently, and uh, it's got to say, it's, it's a lot of fun. That's what I'm saying. I like. I want to know why it hasn't replaced doubles at tournaments. Who likes doubles? Mutants. Doubles is the, so those are the only people. <laughs> you did. Every time doubles comes on after singles, they lose like half the people watching. Easy. That's a sleep. But it makes. Them, I do I mean, they make more money off the, having doubles at the event, though. I do feel like we are going to get some answer. type of side event, though, for Squad Strike at Evo. So, have We've people got... played triples in this game? Triples? No. Uh -uh. Yeah, I remember that was a thing in Smash Four. So that sounds that. Was it like a big thing. A lot of no, 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 it was. It was a thing that they did at a couple of early tournaments, uh, but like only a few tournaments did. It. Like Xanadu did it, VG did it, but like. Hmm. I think Smash and Splash had a side event, I believe. But like one of the, one of the most one notable of those ones where, like, was. If you weren't uh, running other games, then you would run it because it takes goddamn long and it's really annoying. One of the most notable events to run it was a uh, Fire Emblem Saga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing actually I was going to bring up that I kind of like and I wish it was online is tournaments. So back at the same, oh, yeah. event, I was talking about Shofu, me, and a couple other YouTubers. We were all like in a hotel room and we actually used the tournament mode. It is really nice. Like some of the different screens on the tournament mode and the little effects. I wish we could have that kind of thing in online tournaments and then also be able to set it up. I where, thought you know, tournaments were going to be online when they showed that. But, I guess but they're was. not, yeah. which is a little weird. So. They had a whole tournament mode on Smash 4. It, yeah. did, it didn't last yeah. forever, yeah. but they had one. They had one. And it was running until the end of the game. Like you would check there, there would always be somebody hosting a tournament just randomly. That was pretty so, yeah, Online tournaments would be, uh, would be kind of nice. Well, anything else in regards to uh, Smash Bros. in that Direct? Or can we move on to the other stuff that was in that Nintendo Direct? Because there's a whole bunch of stuff we can talk about. Hey, go ahead and move on, bro. Yeah. All right. We got Mario Maker 2. Oh, that's clean. Summer. Day one by. The Wii U is officially dead, people. Unless you want to play Wonderful 101. Yeah. Or Bayonetta. Let's, let's, let's be real. Well, Bayonetta's so on dead. Switch, dude. So Bayonetta 1 it? and 2 are on Switch. Of course. Yeah, it is. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. All right, never mind. It has left is 3D World. That's it. Or Pikmin, if you really care or about Pikmin. Pikmin. Yeah. Pikmin. I feel like oh, Pikmin is probably going to get Yeah, too. Right, yeah. But that's like it. Well, Xenoblade X would be cool to get a port of that, but I don't think we're going to get that. Nintendo Blade's never getting ported. Probably not. No. Probably not. Too that's, 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 that's very fun, much though. a Wii U game. Like, yeah, that game was hella fun, though. Yeah. It was. Online Nintendo Land would actually be a lot of fun. I would potentially double dip for that. Well, it wouldn't be double dipping because I don't even have my Wii U anymore. So, um, but I would like that sharp Three world theme in Mario Maker Two. I'm so excited. So the whole thing about that that I just, I want to point out, Mike, you made a tweet about this, and I, I thought it was very okay. uh, very astute no, 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 of you. No, 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 no. You no, 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 tweeted no, no. out, "Yes, yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to, I, I just want to, I just want to say the tweet you made." 
You said hashtag Roger was right because I have been saying for years that 3D World is not a real 3D Mario game. And now we've got Mario Maker that has different 2D skins and there's a Mario 3D World skin in Mario Maker 2. So I just want to say, and you said it, not me, hashtag Roger was right. I just wanted to point it out. Roger was right for the first time in his life. Can nice. I get a congratulations from the chat, please? Roger was right. Not, not the OPW. Not the OPW. All right, but there's there's an incredibly important thing that we need to talk about with regards to Mario Maker Two. Slow. And it's the fact. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Forget that. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It's the fact <laughs> that we're gonna be getting eight bit sprites of even more of the characters. Okay, wait, wait. We don't know that yet. Nah, I don't know if that's even in it at all. It's happening, yeah. bro. I believe. Because if they did that and they wanted to get all the old ones, they'd have to go into people and say, yo, can we have the rights to use this insignificant 8-bit sprite? I, I don't believe. think Nintendo would do it. Yo, give me that 8-bit nah, solid think... snake, and I will play more Mario Maker. Pause. I'll tell you right now. Okay. Oh, no, snake has an amiibo. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> I hate I'm him. trying to play Mario Maker as 8-bit Joker. Oh, that'd be cool. Unlike a Persona stage that's an auto run that plays the Persona music, that'd be kind of cool. I hope they bring back Sean the Sheep, honestly. Sean the Sheep was pretty great in Mario Maker 1. But uh, but yeah, we're getting Mario Maker 2. New 8-bit characters. Mario 3D World's officially confirmed as a 2D game. And we got a release date of the summer. So pretty exciting. That's going to be their big summer game, meaning uh, Animal Crossing yeah. is definitely going to be the fall because we didn't see anything of Animal Crossing in Luigi's Mansion, which means uh, those are probably going to be some E3 games. But we got the announcement of another big holiday game Talk to him. in this Nintendo Direct. Talk to and it him. is the remake of Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. And uh, people had a lot of thoughts on the art style, I got to say. I just want to say this first. I like the art style. I think it's really cute. But, uh, but People had uh, varying opinions, so I want to see. I think Let's it looks like the, the movie Chicken cast. Run. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yep. It Link's Awakening does, Cuckoo Run. It does kind oh of look a little bit like Chicken Run now that you see. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I, hold on. I don't not hate to, the not to move away. Wait, 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 wait. Not to move away from Link's Awakening that quick. Something that really does look like Chicken Run, though, like really, really looks like Chicken Run. Is Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution? That Ew, you bro, that movie, like bro, that movie pick. really oh looks like God. Chicken Run. I gotta get the. We pictures. got the trailer for that new remake of uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back since the last Japan time, and Lord Almighty, that truly looks claymation. Oh, I, I, I kind of like the look. I'm just wondering why it needs to exist. Bro, get that off the screen! Oh, I gotta compare these graphics, bro. Yeah, yeah, you gotta compare. Yeah, there it is. There you go. I got you. Show me with the picture. Okay. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. All right, let's no see. Problem. Let's compare no Chicken Run. Right, so that's Chicken Run. You know what I'm saying? And then put Link's Awakening up there and put the new Mewtwo. Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. Put all three up there. Compare okay. them. That's Chicken Run. A movie that came out for those youngins. That movie came out in the year 2000. 2000, Jesus. 2000, that movie came out, okay? Really? Oh, yeah, I was 10 years, years old, man. That's crazy. Starring Lynn, starring, you know, Mel Gibson was in this movie. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Ash, Ash actually looks fucking disgusting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what is good with this dude? Ash, Ash looks like one of those, like, OG McDonald's, like, action figures that would give yeah, you. Yeah, he does. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> where, where they would tell you, hey, that he could like action and move his arm, but like when you actually got the toy, he couldn't move his arm for shit. <laughs> like, I can't believe they made chicken in a game, bro. See, seeing them side by side, I don't think Link's Awakening looks as much like Chicken Run as uh, as the new okay, Pokemon that's movie does. Because Chicken Run came out in fucking 1999 or some shit, bro. <laughs> Thousand. Now, I don't know when they made this Pokemon movie, but it wasn't this year. <laughs> okay, can we talk about Brock for a second? Look at him. All right, let's look why, at Brock. Let's look at Brock. Why is, he, why is he top heavy like this? He got a jail body. What's going on with him? He was never that swole in his life. Yeah, grown ass man, bro. He be moving these no. bricks, bro. What no, you he's... talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he be chopping these bricks. No, he's, he's moving not. rocks, bro, every day. No, he's not. He lift in the Geo dude every day. Okay, but here's the, here's the question: Does this look better than Detective Pikachu? There is a correct answer. 
You can't so I'm glad you actually you brought that up because that was the exact segue that I was going to make. Yes, I got you because I want to talk about that movie. Thank you very much. Good. I'm going to say this right now. All right. Lickitung is a perfect angel. Looks exactly <laughs> as I imagined Yo, he would look in live good action. You, Lickitung, my favorite you, Pokemon you, of all time, is a star in the new Detective Pikachu movie. I just wanted to say shout out to my baby. Hold good on. job. Uh, I got, I got, I got links to for those of you in the chat who want to see. Today also they released, uh, they are releasing a Pokemon line using art from the movie. Oh my God, are you serious? So, so, so go ahead and click that link, and I will get Shofu specifically the picture I know he wants. Here we go. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna post here in the Discord. There you go. Oh, what is this slacking? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what is this slacking, dude? The, okay. Oh, that Lickitung looks perfect, though. How could you look at that and say that's not a perfect Lickitung? Right. There's that. There's that shit. Lickitung and Arcanine look great. Both of them look great. That is the, that Arcanine is hella clean. That is the third best picture. Here is the second big best picture. Oh, my God. Don't have to post. Oh, <laughs> Ludicolo. You got to put that. Are, 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 are these going on the Pokemon cards? Yes. These are these are Pokemon card releases. Right, that hold they, on. They're, nice. basically, they're basically making cards using the art from the movie as a promotional tool, but they're, like, legal. And then this, Roger, is the best picture of all of them so far. <laughs> Mr. My <Mind. laughs> this, this is my shit. This is my shit. This is my shit. Man. I love this movie. These, one, these ones actually aren't that bad. I, 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 I was going to say, really this good. movie is looking good now. I think it was very smart of them to do the first trailer the way that they did it, where they showed us some really ugly looking Pokemon and we're like, whoa, this looks strange. But now that we're used to the art style and we're accustomed to it, and now we're seeing a little bit more of the plot, I gotta say, I I am here for the Detective Pikachu movie. I think it's genuinely gonna be good. I think I it's am, gonna be I'm fun. Super yeah, looks excited right. for this film, like unironically, because yeah, I know me too. most people, most people did not play the game. Of I'm gonna tell you right now, that game nice. Okay, oh, the game's he's great. lying, dude. Okay, that Look game at both. Nice. That game is trash. That game nice. He's lying. Oh, like Detective Pikachu is a good movie. If you don't like gameplay. That game night. Who doesn't if you don't like, like having fun? Game, don't play the game. Yeah, if you don't like having gameplay in your video game. <laughs> if Yo, you like Tito, reading, post, play this if you game. Like reading, play that game. Tito, post the pictures of the Bulbasaur and the. Uh, it's like Bulbasaur and Magikarp, I think. Put the oh, okay, okay. There. Even like even Snubble looks perfect, man. Snubble, Snubble actually is probably Snubble, the best it's, looking it's, one. It's probably pretty easy oh. to make a dog look like a dog. Whoa. Okay, Isn't that Magikarp great looking? How do we? How do we? Are we still kind of torn uh, about this? Oh, get the Jigglypuff no. out of here. Ew, I love that Jigglypuff. It looks, like a fucking, yeah. it looks like a baby with a beard. What I want to know is, did people <laughs> think Jigglypuff was smooth this whole time? Did it not? Well, he, he's a balloon Pokemon. He has balloon-like yeah, skin. I, th I thought he'd look like a balloon animal, if Bruh. anything. So you think I that you think that thing on the top of his head was just flesh? I thought it was like a little okay, balloon bro, animal. Bro. I don't you know, know like when you make a balloon animal. Why do people say that when you're not Pokemon aren't supposed to look like this in the first place? They're not real. They're anime characters. I Bulbasaur looks amazing. The guys. translation like, looks weird, that? period. <laughs> that's that's the end of it. Like the Charmander right. looks great. The thing that's freaking me out is with this Jigglypuff, I swear it looks like it has defined toes. Look at the look at the left foot. <laughs> it looks like it has toes. Well, could you zoom in on that? Could you zoom in on Jigglypuff's feet? I, I cannot be like I cannot be the only one that sees it. It really looks like it. it has toes. I don't see the toes. I don't No, it doesn't. Nah, I'm definitely. It looks like it has uh, Kirby feet. Psyduck has more is more of a duck. Ew, bro, get like... this fucking abomination off my fucking screen. <laughs> Which one? He looks like an old ass baby. How you got an old ass baby? Fuck, <laughs> 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 you got an old ass baby. Your baby's a grown man. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Look, this movie. This movie gonna be clean. I think everyone should go watch it. Yeah. I, I think it's gonna be good too. I think it's Very great. I like the look of Psyduck. It's gonna be fun. That even looks great. Gengar looks creepy. Um, even yeah. Charizard kind of grew on me now. After we've seen more of Charizard in action, I think it looks kind of cool. And even though, the, again, because most people haven't played the game, the game actually has like a pretty deep story. There's a lot of lore in that game. Mm -hmm. uh, so go ahead. But now, uh, you know, I, I just want to say, Tito, we talked now about the Detective Pikachu movie and how we're sort of used to the furry animals in movies and live action movies. So since we're on the topic, we got to talk about that new horrific Sonic the Hedgehog movie <laughs> and those renders that have been announced. Oh, my God. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Mike. What, is this, oh, is this is, real, what, though? Like, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's real. Leak, right? 
Oh I my! I thought it was fake. Honestly, it doesn't look professional. <laughs> it looks like a. I heard. It looks I heard like that a, they're, they're like early concepts of the design. That is nightmare fuel. It looks that like a fucking <laughs> uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, what are they called? Like a doll. Uh, the again. mechanical. Mechanical. It, it, looks it looks like. It looks like if you Google realistic Mario. Like, hold on. It oh, looks no. like this. I, I don't want you to, to show the picture. Looks, I already know what the show I know, man. I don't, don't that. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> this, this is what the Jigglypuff was looking like. <laughs> that is kind of what Jigglypuff was like. This is what the Jigglypuff was like looking Unreal like, bro. Engine, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Gonna... Lap straight into Unreal 4 default. So, uh, bro, default everyone scene. posted that fucking picture with fucking brawl jokes. Oh, yeah. Get this, get this off my screen right Bro, now. What, what do you mean? This is this is what the Jimmy Puff was looking like. Hey, there's no way. What you mean? Okay. Yo, why do they have to put those dusty ass Nikes on his feet? What's yeah, crazy is know, Nike actually has, has a Sonic shoe, and they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Like he only why? has one pair of shoes. And he's Sonic never taken them off, by the way. I'd just like to say that the quality of the Sonic movie, pretty, it, it reflects the Sonic franchise pretty well. Just shit. So, I mean, it might, it might be okay. I just say that Will McDermott isn't here to defend himself. That's crazy, man. I need to see what Jim Carrey is going to look like in that goddamn movie. You know Jim Carrey, Dr. Eggman, is going to look even more atrocious than this thing. It's going to look horrible. He's going to be in a fat suit. With giant He's prosthetic gonna look like jowls. Dana Carvey in Master of Disguise. Oh my God, man! Why now, Vera? Exactly. Those are the Nike Sonic shoes. Those are actual official official Nike shoes. Why would they put those on Sonic? Oh, nice. That makes no sense. Someone was, um, I think, people were joking, saying like. He's gonna get those shoes later on in the movie. It was like, oh my God, something or something like that. This is power up. Why yeah. doesn't he have? <laughs> why doesn't he have gloves? Why does he have just like white hands? Yeah, it's like he dipped both his hands in bleach, bro. Why did he didn't have gloves? I just don't understand why Hollywood doesn't copy source material. I don't understand. Bro, don't make any how, sense. Did, how the fuck? Like, wh what is it supposed? Is that supposed to be a hedgehog still? Like, I'm so confused. He doesn't. Look, he looks like a human. <laughs> how are these two things the same? I'm trying to post it's a picture a of Sonic right now. Hold on. How are That's these a pretty big image of Sonic. Yeah, I just saw on the screen. Huge. <laughs> my bad. Shit. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be that. How are these? Two What's crazy is they could have literally just taken that model and like CG that into the world, and it would have been fine. Like I don't think as many people would have complained. This just looks like an abomination. They don't look the same at all, bro. <laughs> they even. The one thing about this design, I will say, I semi appreciate, is that they added the little white space as fur between his eyes. So like how he basically just has one giant eye. They made like a little fur area yeah, see it. in between his eyes. I think that's fine. That's the one thing that I'm like, that all right, I'm okay with this. looks weird too. Look at the picture on the left. That shit looks weird as fuck, bro. Because <laughs> it's yeah, a poorly can, painted handle, render. Can't handle any of that. The question is, are we going to see tails and knuckles in this Probably. movie? Oh, oh, like, are I they going to look so. like this? At least tails. Absolutely. You can't have Sonic without you, tails. No, you get, you get Amy too. Oh no, please. So you then the other question. You have to have Amy. You need at least one female in this movie. I gotta pose this question. Is now we've heard about this this uh, Google game console that's coming out, right? GDC apparently is going to give us the full reveal of this Google game console. There are heavy rumors and heavy speculation that Sega is making exclusive games for this Google console. My question I want to pose to all of you. Are we going to get a Sonic the Hedgehog the movie the game exclusive? Yes. I don't know. They don't do that anymore. That sounds so think... cost. I when was the last so. time we've got a game that was based off of a movie? Ratchet and Clank. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Mm. Also, the Lego Movie. We got oh. the Lego Movie, the game. Yep. I was so I'm so used to like Iron Man, the game, and like fucking Cars, the game. You know that those, shit. Those, those are definitely made. SpongeBob, the movie, the game. We got that back in the day. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, while we're on the topic of movies, too, and then I promise we'll get back to the Nintendo Direct. I brought it up earlier, so I want to bring it up now. We have an official release date for Space Jam 2. And since this is the podcast where, uh, you know, we, we ask everybody, Lola Bunny, would you or wouldn't you? Uh, the official release date for Space Jam 2 is July 16th, 2021, and it stars LeBron James 
And uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on Space Jam 2? Now that we have an official Blonde James. I have no thoughts until I see it. Yeah, have, okay. haven't seen anything yep. of the movie. <clears throat> we haven't seen anything. The only thing they've oh. shown is a teaser of the locker room where it says like the All Star Squad or whatever, and then it has LeBron James next to Bugs Bunny, yeah. Lola Bunny, whatever. He's going to be asking lockers. to trade the entire fucking cast of the movie. Yeah. I, I, I well, get we, the feeling I'm going to regret that. We know one thing about Space Jam 2, guaranteed, is we are not going to get a new song from R. Kelly. Uh, we had I Believe I Can Fly <laughs> yeah, on, in the okay. original Space Jam. Pretty sure uh, this new movie is not going to have a new R. Kelly song. That man is going to be watching Space Jam 2 from jail. So, speaking of jail, let's talk a little bit about Astral Chain, which is the brand new Ooh, game. That game is fire! Fire. My Barely ears don't it. work anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Astral Chain looks really cool to me. I, I thought it was a Monolith Soft game at first when I was watching it. So did I. Was Everyone did. No? What? Everyone yeah. except for Mike did. Because <laughs> it, ha it has a very Xenoblade style to it. I was assuming it was going to be a sequel to Xenoblade X, like they were going to carry that on. Um, but then it was brought up to me that, of course, Monolith Soft is working on their new IP, so this probably wouldn't be that game. Um, but hey, I am, I am super stoked for this. I always like new Platinum action games and... Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be great. Straight flames. Uh, another new game. Well, well I guess quick, it's not a... question is, I have a quick question. Does, like, I understand that Platinum has like a lot of clout, but like, do they just make whatever they want whenever they want? Is that is that kind of how that works for them? Like, in, well, in, they... in, the, in the way where it's like a lot of other studios are usually, you know, they usually work with a console or they usually work independently or they're like a sub-branch of a console. I mean... But I feel like Platinum like just works for everyone they had to do a bunch of licensing stuff for activision that's true at one point i, I also kind of feel like nintendo might be helping them with this like i feel like this is a wonderful 101 being at a yeah. two situation where they're actually helping to fund the game uh i mean at this point nintendo just needs to buy platinum like i don't know every time platinum tries making a game for another system it's like we're making scalebound oh never mind scalebound got canceled we're making a game for another system oh it's a licensed game just like nintendo save these people all right just like Buy them outright, all right? Make Bayonetta officially a Nintendo character. Give us a new Vanquish. I would love that. Yes. Did you ever figure out what uh, that canceled game was that Nintendo was talking about? So there was, yeah, a rumor that a canceled game is going to be coming back to the Nintendo Switch. There are rumors that it might be Scalebound, and I'm very glad you brought that up, Seth, because a lot of people saying Scalebound, well, that was a Microsoft IP. How could that possibly happen on Nintendo Switch? Well... Funny you ask that because there has since been a rumor that Xbox Game Pass is going to be coming the to the Nintendo Xbox? Switch. No, no, no. Xbox, wait, wait, what? Roger. Even what? before that, uh -huh. Scalebound, I th I don't know how true this is. I think it is. Was apparently planned to be a Wii game a long time ago. Scalebound was, really? Uh, apparently. I read a couple of interviews oh. about it. Well, what I was going to say is that Xbox Game Pass is... Maybe coming to Nintendo Switch, and the first games coming to it are Ori in the Blind Forest, and thank God, Cuphead. So, uh, what do you guys think of this rumor? You think it's legit? I think it probably Give is. Give me fucking Halo. Yo. Well, what what games are on Game Pass right now? Can you play the original Halo games? <laughs> you can play yeah. Crackdown. You can play original Halo. You can pretty play much all the first party stuff. stuff on there. I think Rare yeah. Replay. Yeah, all the first party stuff is on Game Pass. I need all of that. See, that sounds amazing. Having Rare Replay and Halo Master Chief yeah, Collection. Rare Replay on the Switch would be great. Ooh, that'd be amazing. Could you? I, I never would have dreamed in a world two years ago that Switch might have Persona 5 and Cuphead on it. And yet here we are. Uh, we're so close to the dream. I can't wait. Well, this is all like we have Sony to thank for being uh, a bunch of dickheads. So <laughs> now Nintendo and Microsoft well, became friends. We also have one other man to thank who was very close with Microsoft, who uh, is no longer going to be with the company, and that is Mr. Reggie fils -Aimé. It has yeah. been announced officially since the last podcast that Reggie is going to be stepping down as president of Nintendo of America, and in his place is going to be Doug Bowser and not, as many people expected, Bill Trinan. So Doug Bowser is going to be stepping in as the new president of Nintendo. What do you guys think about this, and uh, are you going to miss Reggie? I mean, I, I think mean, everyone's going to A lot of people are, yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course. Right. Of course. Well, the but, thing I mean, is... The, Doug Bowser I'm... seems like he has, a, he has a lot of charisma. He's he, he's actually active on social media. Yeah. Thank God he has a fucking uh, Twitter. Oh, so yeah. I think, I, I think he's going to be fine. But, yeah, it'll be sad. I'm kind of... 
I'm gonna miss the Reggie and Jeff back and forth at E3 in the Game Awards. Yeah. Yeah. I do wonder if we get another direct in between when Reggie officially steps down, do you think Reggie's gonna also say like a little goodbye message in that? Or do you think that video that was posted to Twitter was his official goodbye? I think, I think, I think that's that it. Yeah, that yeah, was oh, man. goodbye. I think just makes the, uh, just, he probably doesn't want to make another appearance anymore until it's game. over. That makes the uh, the three presidents coming out at uh, what was it? Um, oh yeah, the game awards. Game, game, game awards. It makes that like almost like an end of an era, somewhat. A with, little like, bit. Uh, a lot I mean, of these companies dropping out, out of E three and stuff. Uh, I think he's gonna be soon. There's talks about it. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's weird. Like E3 is kind of dying down. New presidents are taking over. It's like a completely different uh, generation at this point. Yeah. 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 I think it's just nice that Reggie kind of gets to retire in good health, good spirits, relatively young. Like he's not below 60. Yeah, man. And now he gets, gets to, to... he gets to go back to playing Nintendo uh, uh, 3DS. Animal, Animal, <laughs> Animal, Animal Crossing New Leaf for Nintendo 3DS. But, uh, well, hey, who knows? End of the year, he might not be playing New Leaf, but he'll definitely be playing the new Animal Crossing game for Switch, which, weirdly enough, was not in this Nintendo Direct at all. What is going on with that? Do you think they're just saving it for E3, or do you think E3, it might baby. actually get delayed? Nah, E3, maybe. Mm, yeah, I'd say E3. No, I don't, I don't think they can afford to delay it. Because, like, we don't even know... We What do we have for sure coming this year? Like, we don't know if Bayo's this year. Metroid isn't this year. Luigi. We have, like, Luigi's Luigi Mansion. Mansion Link's Pokemon Awakening. Sword and Shield. I guess, yeah, I guess, like, that's Astral the Chain, thing, Fire right? Emblem Three Houses, right Mario Maker 2, Link's Awakening. I what mean, there's else? a lot of games coming out this year. <clears throat> yeah. I don't, Potentially but, like, all these ports, too. Like, with Persona. I don't think... A lot of those are huge titles, like, like Luigi's Mansion and stuff. It's not, it's not like a big headliner. And I think they just need maybe like a big release every couple of months because Animal Crossing is pretty huge. It, it it's gotten big, yeah, over time. I actually, I you brought really up know anything about Astral Chain or anything like that. You brought up Metroid Prime earlier, and I don't think we talked about that since the last podcast. Metroid Prime Four uh, was canceled. And has been restarted by Retro Studios. That is uh, unprecedented. I cannot remember the last time Nintendo officially announced cancellation of a game and then officially said we are starting backup development with the original company. So I got to wonder what happened there with the original version of Metroid Prime 4 that it was so bad. that They said, all right, we need to go back to retro. And why didn't they have retro maybe, working maybe on it in the first bad, place? Though. Maybe it wasn't that bad. It had to have been. No, it, it had didn't. to have been. No, it it's probably just not up to their standards. Yeah, that's all. it could have just been. It could have been yeah. not as as good as they wanted it to be, or maybe so there was something wrong with the way it looked or something. But that doesn't necessarily mean it was bad. Maybe they actually care about the games they put out. <laughs> maybe. Who was I mean, it especially with? like who it was with. And it's a big game that hasn't come out uh, in a long time. Uh, especially <laughs> um, like coming off of Samus Returns, which was exactly, really, yeah. which was a really good game. You know, they wanted to kind of. I guess with the Metroid series, they probably want to keep that momentum forward, and especially mm. with the Prime trilogy, that's a very loved trilogy. They want to keep going to create something that's really, really amazing. So they want to fall back on what they know is going to be really good. So my question is, what comes out first, Space Jam Two or Mar- uh, Metroid Prime Four? I guess Space Jam Two ain't yeah. coming out. <laughs> Space Jam Two is coming out July. We just said that's July twenty twenty one. That's when they said it was coming out. But is it coming out on July in July 2021? Or at all. That's what I'm saying. They could say it's coming out. Yeah, October, I don't think that shit's going to come out at all. <laughs> that shit was announced in 2017 that they're going to gonna make that. And we'll all be better for it. Yeah, relax. That's true. Well, a game that we never thought was going to come out that has been released since the last episode was Kingdom Hearts 3. Yo, and then a lot of people want God, hot takes. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm killing it today. He's I know I'm killing it. Fucking roll, bro. I think it's probably because we've got a lot of topics to talk about. Normally, I have to segue into like topics that really aren't that interesting or other viewer questions. But today, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's talk about Kingdom Hearts 3. All right. What is everyone's overall thoughts on the game? It's been released. Most most of us, I think, have beaten it at this point now, right? I haven't even played it. Yep. I haven't played it either yet. I, do you I, care I, if we I go wanted, to spoilers at all? I was excited for that game because I wanted to look at it, not because I wanted to play it. That shit looks clean <laughs> as hell. <laughs> I wanted to watch a playthrough. Game very pretty. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, 
Okay, so in in general, because I'm sure we're gonna people have a lot of stuff <clears throat> to talk about the game. Uh, my biggest problems with the game, because obviously it's like a, at least a good game. You can you can varying degrees of good depending on who you are. Uh, the game's gorgeous, obviously, um, but I think two problems I have with the game. First of all, the camera's trash in that. Game. The camera's absolutely garbage. Like it's yeah. so hard to control that camera and like fight at the same time where it shouldn't the lock -on's be. Lock-on's really weird too. Yeah, and the lock-on's really weird for absolutely no reason. And the second, that game is way too fucking easy. Like, it is obscenely easy to the point where it... There are points in the game where I honestly felt like I could have played the controller, like, held the controller with one hand and still been able to defeat, like, a boss. Like, even the final boss wasn't difficult at all. So that was my probably two biggest problems with that game. And obviously... You know, they're looking at people are speculating that they're gonna fix that problem, the difficulty problem, very soon. But definitely, game was way too easy. Easy. Um, but I do enjoy the fact that for people who never play the like every single Kingdom Hearts game, they do a pretty decent to actually, I would say, very good job of kind of connecting the dots for you and filling in that space in terms of information. At which I think is really. Well, the one thing that's weird is they've since announced that we're getting DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3. And my question is if any of that's going to be answered in that DLC or if we're getting like DLC worlds or what exactly we're going to be seeing. Um, he did mention one thing that we're going to get. Okay. okay. Uh, someone asked a question about like why Shion. Can we talk about spoilers? Yeah, let's talk about spoilers. Okay. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler, spoiler alert. All right. Spoiler someone, alert. someone asked like why Shion was a part of the organization at the ending. Mm. And Nomura just said wait for the story expansion okay so that's probably gonna be a second do you think that'll be a new disney world or do you think it's gonna be no. some no-name no. place no it'll be oc mm. stuff yeah, yeah. Mm. the oc stuff was the best part of the game yeah honestly i liked ratatouille and twilight town i thought that was kind of cute uh i but liked the whole end game was so good yes that was oh, that the... was probably oh, one of the dude. best end games i've ever played in my life not even capping like Getting like to fight all the different organization members, that was awesome. Getting to see that final cutscene of all the different trios coming back together again. The Wayfinder trio. Fighting the, all the, the popsicle trio. Oh, yeah. man. That was dope. The, the the million heartless fight. Yeah. Oh, that fight, the mobile game thing was actually really cool. Yeah. Where all the oh, names yeah. of the players were showing up and stuff. That was pretty cool. The Union were, X uh, tie-in. Yeah. What were favorite worlds for everybody? I liked Arendelle, because you guys know I love Frozen. And weirdly enough, everybody said, oh, Arendelle's going to be the worst world. It's going to be the worst world. I would say my hot take is that the worst world in the game, far and away, far and away, is San Francisco. And the yep, reason for I agree. it, it feels like is an you gotta, Dude, it's yeah. a giant open city. There's nothing to do in it. There's like every once in a while, every five minutes, you actually run into enemies. And then you can't even transition to be day or night. You have to go back to Hero's Garage and then choose. It's just, <clears> it's, <throat> it's weird. I think the whole thing with San Francisco Tokyo was weird. And uh, yeah, it feels like an afterthought. I completely agree. I feel like that's something was, that they were like, oh, yeah, we announced this. One of the first things ever shown. Yeah. Well, I think they announced it and they were like, oh, yeah, we forgot to make this because we needed to make a frozen world. And that's, and that's why we got it. That world there. was great. Yeah. I liked, the it, it I liked Marshmallow. The best, it had the best heart, heartless fight, too. Yeah. The, the, the wolf. Yeah, it was really cool. Dude, I loved the whole fact that Marshmallow was your party member and not Elsa. And you guys know I yeah. love Elsa. But I thought that was a really neat twist, having him be your party member. I liked the uh, Monsters, Inc. world. I thought it was really great. I love the Monsters, Inc. I was Inc. just happy world. to see Monsters, Inc. I liked the Toy Story world. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, Caribbean could have been a little better, I think. I like a lot of stuff in the Caribbean, but I think uh, collecting the crabs maybe could have been toned down a bit. You don't need, you don't need to do that. Yeah. Dude, I, that's my least... That's that, Maybe... It's either that or San Francisco. I, I did not fuck with the boss fights. And it was like, when I play Kingdom Hearts, you know, I want to do action and stuff. I don't want to play fucking Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I, I didn't like that. Yeah. But it had, that was the best looking world. It had the oh, best. Oh, yeah. Too. Yeah, that world was gorgeous. The only thing about the cutscenes, I'll say, is that so many of the cutscenes are just straight up filler. And what I mean yeah. by that is that you'll see a character. They'll say, I'm here. They won't explain why they're here. They'll just say, we're looking for a box or we're doing this thing. And it goes on for 30 minutes. And really, they don't say anything by the end of the cutscene. Like, you know the same stuff at the end of the cutscene as you knew at the beginning of the cutscene. Outside of the progression within the actual Disney worlds, which is like, of course, we know those stories. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I know the Caribbean just had way too many cutscenes. It was sort of front-loaded with cutscenes uh, that didn't really go anywhere. 
So, but it looked pretty. Definitely looked pretty. I'm trying to think of some other bosses. Olympus was okay. I thought Olympus was kind of cool. Yeah, uh, but it was weird that Phil was there but didn't talk. Like, just don't, uh, yeah, just don't make I was him gonna say, up. bro. Oh yeah, that don't was make him show weird. up. He, he nods a little bit. Say anything. Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. Uh, where do you, though. Yeah, so curiously, where do you think the next game is going? Because there is that secret. Well, okay, again, spoilers, people. There's the secret ending uh, where you see Sora and Riku in Shibuya. And then uh, you see the Master of Masters is the character, right? Holding up yes. his hands, looking towards the moon. Well, it is implied, yes. Okay, so it's implied. So hopefully, because this is my biggest problem with Kingdom Hearts 3, there were no Square Enix Final Fantasy characters outside of the Moogle at all. Please, I beg of you, please. If you're going to Shibuya and you don't put the World Ends With You characters back in there, I'm going to be so mad. Please. That's why. Wait, wait, wait. And I think in one of the interviews, he actually said that Shibuya is not the one. I'm pretty sure. It's like an alternate one or something. I read that something is, like that. That is actual wrong. booty cheeks. That makes me very mad. <laughs> I, I do, Why would you do that? Do you guys think uh, in the next one they're going to actually add like the Star Wars and Marvel stuff in? Uh, th there's a huge wow. interview that we all should have read before uh It's doing a huge this. book. Yeah, it's like a, it's a book of him talking about plans and stuff and stuff like Star Wars and shit. Is it like licensing problems that he has or something? I think it was a licensing thing with Star Wars that. and Marvel. Because you had to go could, through like two companies. Yeah, I could yeah. honestly say having worked with the licensing division of Disney before, I think it's going to be a lot easier to get a Marvel world before getting a Star Wars world. Like, I, I could genuinely see there being, like, Avengers Tower or something in the next game. I, I honestly think that if you're going to do Marvel, you, you only need Spider-Man. Just go to New York and just do Spider-Man. Like, it's... it's Spider-Man is the most simple. popular superhero on the literal... on literally the entire world. Mm, that's and debatable. New York is, like... New York is super easy to do, and you can do a lot with it. Where San Francisco, like you can basically do San Francisco correctly, but just put it in New York, and the themes and the ideas and the design of a lot of the villains in Spider Man fights doesn't come having played having played Spider Man for PS4 and that game being so good and that, feeling that so game realized, got me Spider Man. Like man, I gotta say, after playing that game, if they try to do that with the Spider Man world and it's anything like San Francisco, I'm gonna immediately hate it. <laughs> so I feel like they shouldn't even try. They should do something totally different. Make a Wakanda world or something. Put Black Panther in there. Do something cool. Do something different at the very least. I don't know. I think you, I think you just go for the mass appeal and Spider Man. Spider Man is by by every like sales and movie and comic and merchandise. The the, the no character makes more money for Marvel than Spider Man magically around mm -hmm. the world. So that's true. I think that. Like, if you're gonna do it, then you might as well you might as well pick the character that Marvel's gonna try to push for their most popular character. And the other thing I wanted to bring up too, while we're on the topic of story of Kingdom Hearts three, like I don't know if any of you guys are hardcore lore Kingdom Hearts people. What is the whole deal with like is Demix the name of the guy with the guitar? Yeah. yeah. Where there's like that one cutscene that like is never referred to again at Kingdom Hearts three, yeah, where he's about him. do this thing. Is he the master of masters? Hey, don't worry about people him. People are theorizing <laughs> that, but. I mean, the Master of Masters is whoever Nomura <laughs> finds the most convenient at that time. But isn't that supposed to be, like, the most powerful dude in the whole verse? So, like, why would they yeah. make it some dude with a guitar? That's exactly why they would do it. <laughs> That's kind of no. dumb. Hey, don't worry about him. Wasn't he dead in Kingdom Hearts 2? Like, hey. I could have sworn you see his grave or something in Kingdom Hearts don't 2. Don't worry about him. I'm No, I'm asking. I'm not saying don't worry. I'm no, asking No, no, it's question. like, I don't know if those are graves, but those are, like, in they're like, uh, like little portals. So where do you go fight them? And it's just... They're indicators about when who you be like. I don't think they're they're graves because they're all they're all there. All right, all right. Well, I don't care about Demix, but one thing I do care about is Fire Emblem Three Houses coming out this summer. Ooh, and oh, shut up! Yeah. All right, you know what? All right, we didn't have a better transition to get into Fire Emblem. So let's no, just no, no. I'm one. saying, I'm all saying, right. we, I'm saying the transition clean game. Shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Shit looks wait, like wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you guys think this game looks bad? Dude, I'm it not I have, yo. If you showed me a screenshot of three houses like Battlefield and Radiant Dawn on the Wii's Battlefield, I couldn't tell the difference. It it's ugly. I don't like how it looks. It's fucking Harry Potter Fire Emblem edition. Yeah. 
It's just keep it away from me. Just keep it I away. Can't ro- I can't wait to romance my students, dude. <laughs> well, don't that's say not that. necessarily that's not what you're gonna do in the game right isn't it something where like you set up your students with each other and they have like supports or something well, that's even better that's weird <laughs> that's weird I, I don't i don't i don't you're i'm not a uh, fire emblem guy see yeah. i'm a huge fire emblem. i think it looks great i, think I, it looks f- really I fuck fun. with i like i really liked awakening and I remember, I was so excited for Fates, I was waking up, seeing if the shit leaked, and I was like, oh, it's time. I played it, vomited in my mouth, went back to sleep. What? So why do With you the vomit in your mouth, mouth, bro? I feel like yep. we talked about this a little bit, yeah. but why do you hate Fates so much? It, it's just... Is is that a controversial thing? I thought, no, no, I thought no, everyone it's thinks it's, it's a legitimately just, bad game. Well, I think gameplay-wise, it's really good. The only concerns I've seen about it are, like, the characters. Yeah, the characters suck, the story sucks, the world isn't really that interesting. The the fact that you had to buy the game three times, uh, the the it's just, it's just shit. I don't I don't know. I mean, Co- Coco Bean Paste in the chat is not wrong saying I like Fates because of Camilla. You're not wrong. All right, <laughs> you you're, you're not incorrect. Um, but I, I I really enjoyed myself playing Fates. Let me rephrase I, that. I, I that sounded weird. Hold on. I, really I enjoyed like playing game. through like, Fates. Yeah, I, I didn't enjoy Wonder myself while doing? playing Fates. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what you meant. I think in the eyes of a lot of people, what Awake, uh, what Fates essentially did was it took the kind of questionable elements of Awakening and kind of magne- magnified them. Because that's what saved Fire Emblem was those <laughs> those questionable things. So they were like, "Wait, we should do it again." But this game I mean, doesn't really look work, like I guess. that. I mean, th- there is a little bit of that with the with like the teacher and the different students and stuff. Okay, but outside to be fair, of that. Apparently, there's no S rank, which means there's no marriage, I think, which means right, it might not right. be kids. So there might not be so that's kids. That's cool. And the game itself looks, like you said, more like the classic yeah, GameCube yeah, yeah. Wii ones. So I'll I think be, there's I'll potential there for a good story. I just don't have faith in, in intelligent mm-hmm. systems. I just don't have faith. Well, that collection is beautiful, box though. Art. Yeah, I don't know. The box yeah. art is a little weird. I like the box art. I don't know why that guy's upside down. Yeah, what why the is fuck? His hair not he's a trapeze artist. <laughs> I just don't have faith, thing, that's all. The one thing I will point out is that the girl version of Byleth, is that the new character's name? Blyeth or Byleth or something? I don't fucking know. The girl the version Avatar of Byleth character? has such a horrible outfit. Like my I girlfriend can't wait to play as her in Smash Bros. She's refusing to do that outfit. She's like, no, I am no. not going to make that outfit. It's got like this weird belly button cutout thing, and it, just, it looks weird. So, it's horrible. Yeah. I can't wait to play bad. as her in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Look, God, dude, not, I'm so excited. Do not throw that into the universe. Like, We're not, I, I was going to say, let's for, not do... I can't wait for What's her. What's the problem? Hold on. There's too much stuff to talk about. We can't do DLC speculation yet. We can't. We have so many other things to go through. Please. Let's not do DLC speculation yet. The next thing I want to talk about, even though we're jumping away from that Nintendo Direct... Well, actually, there's one other thing we could talk about from that Nintendo Direct. Man, that was kind of a packed Tetris Nintendo, 99, about it. the best exactly. game of the fucking year. Tetris yes. 99. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. let's talk about Tetris 99 a little bit. Thoughts on the best Battle Royale game of the century? I'm playing that shit right now. That's that game know. legitimately made me start playing Tetris again. Like, yeah, I go on TetrisArena.com, I play that shit. I, I'm laddering Tetris. I'm waiting. I'm oh, waiting. Is there an actual ladder? Like... Yeah, there's yeah. a ladder. Oh, is there really? Tetris, what's it called? Tetrisfriends.com. Oh, I thought you were talking about actual. I thought you were talking about Texas 90, uh, Tetris 99. Oh no, there's not a. Well, I get, there technically is because there's rankings, so yeah, yeah. there has to be some sort of matchmaking. Can't Holy. wait for the DLC where we can fucking like party up and I can ask where we drop in. I'm so. You guys ready. saw, you guys saw that like organizations are picking up Tetris streamers. Yep. That's yeah, true. Yeah, got picked up, man. Tafo. Okay, come Tafo. on, that's a fuck. Come on, man. <laughs> you got picked up for Tetris. Tafo is already a fucking CLG, man. But now he's There's getting another guy. What's his name? Yeah, Not for Tetris, though. No. Right. Yeah, he's, he's getting paid for, for Tetris. Now he's, now There's he's another guy, too. I forget who it... He, he raided my friend while he was streaming the other day. I forget his name, but he's also on a team. Oh, him. Uh, yeah, that guy. He's Did you just say the fat guy? Is that, is that how you <laughs> described him? <laughs> no. I said that guy. What the fuck? I heard fat guy. I heard you ugly as fuck. What? I'm not though. That's Whoa. that's factually incorrect. I look like an Abercrombie medal, bro. Come on, come on, come on, bruh. Drew Carey over here telling me I look ugly. Come on, that's crazy. Drew Carey's so anyway, looking clean these days. <laughs> actually, that's true. He lost a lot of weight. He lost a lot of weight. Isn't he still like? Isn't he still what? Crazy as shit. Oh, I don't know. 
He might be. He might be. Well, uh, one thing that is crazy movie. is yeah, Pokemon did. Sword and Shield. Oh. Coming out for Nintendo What's Switch. What's crazy later about this that? Year. The What's only thing that's about crazy about it is how it still looks like a 3DS game playing What's on What's crazy is that it's, they're going to charge us $50 for it again. <laughs> Wait, so we got to talk about this a little bit because I feel like it looks really good. No. I do. Well, I think well, graphically it just, looks it looks like good. What I, looks good compared, look, look, I, I looked at this shit yeah. on my stream, right? I looked at the X okay. and Y trailer. Okay. Okay. The X and Y trailer looked amazing when I watched it in 2013. You know why? Because every Pokemon game before that didn't look amazing. But the actual graphics, if we compare them to any other game, are not anything to to be impressed by. It's only when you directly compare the newest Pokemon game to the previous one that it looks good. And, dude, so far from what we've seen, Let's Go has innovated more than the first actual Gen 8 on, like, an HD console and stuff. Where are my overworld Pokemon? Where are they, Game Freak? Well, I, I think there's that. a rumor that it's coming back. Yeah, but like my my thoughts on the thing was like, it's the first trailer. There might be a he good amount of new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet, so they aren't gonna have it on. Like you know the the scene where we saw like the farm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there should have been Pokemon there, I think, but they have it turned off for the trailer. That's what I think. But right. yeah, they're definitely not gonna blow their load on the first trailer. I don't. Also, no. look at what Viren posted. The lighting yeah, in Let's Go I thought looks I'm much, much it. better. Look at this shit, bro. Well, it's not really the lighting, though. I think it's more like the do lines. We have, do we have Pokemon, a um, right? do we have a Sun and Moon and Gen Eight comparison? Actually, no, it is. Uh, hold on, actually, we'll put it up on screen. Let's see. Look at that shading. That shading is clean. Same, it's the same model. Sun and Moon and what comparison? A Sun and Moon and Gen Eight co uh, comparison. Let me see if I can find one. Yes. I think it's uh, I think the. Bottom one is Citra. Okay. okay. To be fair, the bottom one kind of looks weird. better than Sword like and that. Shield now like that I'm that. looking I've at seen that. A, I've seen I kind of, uh... I kind of like the look of that. That looks like a cartoon. It looks like watercolor a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, like let's go. Different. I think what it was is the lighting is a tad different and also no outlines. Mm. For some reason, Gen Eight has different lighting and outlines. We don't need outlines anymore because we're not playing on a 240p screen. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. What I was literally, I, I, I was pretty unimpressed by the by what I was actually looking at when it came to to the Sword and Shield reveal. It, it, it didn't graphically impress me like any of the other previous games. Yeah. When what I, when impressed you, me, when you... I think, was the the environments. I think were really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, yeah. when, when the, the first the cool. when the first screen or the first thing that shows up is the house. You're just like, oh damn, this looks really nice, and then your player model walks out, and you're just like, it's just more uh, of the same, honestly. To me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I'm, fair. I'm, I'm but waiting I think it until. Looks good. I think I'm gonna wait at E3 to pass like an actual judgment. Yeah, I definitely need to see more. We saw so mm. we saw so little. That place I with need the to see, like more Pokemon, and that's another thing. Gen seven and Gen six, they're still pretty fresh in my mind from when they first happened. I immediately picked the starter and was like, this is the one for me. This game, yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't you. like. I all, don't. Know all the why. starters are pretty, like, pretty average to they're, me. They're safe. I yeah, think. Hey, Groot, exactly. yeah, where are my Groot they're gang? Safe. You hey. can't really. They're they're all too similar to me. Like you can't really. I saw the only love, because of the name. I love Score Bunny. I absolutely adore Score Bunny, and I me feel too. like if Score Bunny becomes a fire electric, fire steel, or whatever the rumors are, like you know, a fire electric bunny rabbit that looks like King Cosma from Summer Wars, all of my money, dude. All of my money. What's that? You want firefighting? All right, bro. You got it. I mean, even if we get firefighting, though, I'd be fine with that if he's got... Make them all fighting. Fight, no, no, make it firefighting again. Laser people are going to fucking snap, bro. I don't care. <laughs> people are going to fucking snap if we get firefighting, bro. Score Buddy looks great. And then we've got... I think Sabo looks cute, too. Bro, they all look cute. They all look the fucking same. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. Sabo looks, looks like he's crying a, a little bit, bit bro. Grook, I don't think Grookey is very cute at all. I think Grookey's just a what the f get yo fuck out of here. The whole point was that they were cute though, clearly to me at least. Huh? Like they didn't they didn't take it doesn't look like they took any big risks with any of them. They're all safe starters. You can't go wrong with any with any. Maybe choice. with their final evolutions, but well, we'll I kind of feel I'm like final evolution yet. wise, I'm thinking Sable's gonna be a water ghost, and I think Grookey's gonna be either grass rock or grass fighting. I think it's gonna be grass ground. Grass ground. That's interesting. Get grass. Can I get like a not pool type? 
Grookey's based off music, right? That's what right. that's what his whole thing is. That's what I think. So yeah. he could be like a lot that's of different things. No, it's because all of his names in every language is music plus monkey. Right. Right. Mm, interesting. Um, the water starter is sad plus depression. Bubble. Right. So ghost, and water ghost. There you go. I don't know what the rabbit is. I, well, so apparently, it did like a. Bro, like, why is it gonna be is. ghost? School. They gotta kill themselves. <laughs> why can it be? No, it's not gonna kill. No, but like, how in the very first trailer you see Sabo's using that camouflage thing? I think that might be a. Because he's a chameleon. Yeah. I, well, I get that, but don't you think a chameleon? Oh no, it's go? gonna have protein. No. no, no. There's no way it has protein. There's no way. It's gonna have some shitty ability like infiltrator. Or like color change. Color change. Color change. Oh no. There's no way. There's no way. I just want. I just want like the grass mon to be good. Can I get a grass mon that's good? Yeah. Like, please. Grass was my favorite starter. Every generation, and then as soon as it hit Gen five, I was like, "What the fuck?" Whoa! Hold I on. Pick, you don't I like Chespin, I fuck with Chespin. No, I don't like Rowlet. Okay, well, okay, you're disgusting. Not, like you're Rowlet. a despicable Rowlet human being if you don't like Rowlet. What? Did you, dude, the day Incineroar got revealed for Smash, I was shitting on the bird all you day. Can, I, okay, but you but hold on, because this is something I've seen a lot of people talking about. Because I don't like Chimchar at yeah. all. I think Chimchar is ugly. However, uh, however, wait, just hear me out. I like Infernape. Yeah, I, I think agree. Chimchar looks. I'm hard. judging them by the actual starters. Monferno I don't, I don't care about the too. final. Oh, Monferno is kind of ugly though. I don't really like Monferno. I that think much, he's but, oh, okay. <laughs> but like, so I'm not judging them by the final one. I'm judging them just by the starters themselves. Dude, Rowlet's adorable. Adorable. He's so round. Wait, okay, what did actually, Roger, what did I'll, agree, I'll agree. Rowlet's cool, but I don't fuck with his evolutions. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and well, I think the anime are, also is great because that Rowlet never evolved. No, Dark is clean. Okay, Pablo is easily the worst starter in Gen Seven, though. Fuck out. But oh, me Metal Drone is the whoa, about to erupt. On. What have you Metal done? Hold on. What wait, have wait, you wait. Done? Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. The, the chat is rumbling. saying that I hate. Wait, wait. <laughs> the chat is saying I hate the monkey Pokemon. That's not true. I like Infernape. Okay, I like Slacking. We're talking about the base forms. Oh, I like all the the monkey trio from Black and White. I like what? the three of them. Did you guys know that uh, Electivire is a gorilla? I didn't know that. Panseer is literally what? a better fire monkey Pokemon than Chimchar. Really? Yeah, it's based off of like an it's ape. Damn it's a big Pablo gorilla literally monkey. literally the best. Yeah, you got me fucked up. Pablo, it's a whole... How does a fucking guy. plug oh, turn into a fucking gorilla? I don't know. Pablo is trash. But it's, the, but it's way better. No, it's way better than Decidueye, which is my problem. Can I get a good grass the starter? Thing, what, what's the thing that fucking like, evolves from uh, Poplio? Brion? Uh, oh, yeah, Brion. That yeah. Pokemon oh. is fucking trash. Oh my <laughs> god. Ugliest middle I ever. I fuck with Poplio. I don't fuck with Brion or Primarina. Poplio. <laughs> Piece of shit. Yo, what did he do to you? He, he was ugly when I looked at him. Oh, That's what Jesus he did to me. Damn. Damn. Jesus. Nothing, he was, nothing will he ever was be existing more while ugly. <laughs> nothing will ever be, to me at least, more disappointing and ugly than when we got Fennekin, this perfect little Fennekin fox, oh, no. and then hey, we got Breaks in. Yes. Breaks into great Pokemon. Breaks into perfect middle form. You're like, what is this final oh, form going to no. look like? And we get oh, Bell Fox. We get literally J.K. Rowling in Pokemon form. Don't look at that. <laughs> I swear to God. Dude, look at J.K. Pull up a picture of J.K. Rowling. Show and Pull up a picture of Bell Fox. Not. They're, they're literally exactly the same. They're, you cannot tell me that Del Fox is not J.K. Rowling, bro. I hate Del Fox. I hate it. Bra How fox. could you give us Brakeson, who's this perfect little cute wand fox Pokemon, and then you're like, let's make this thing disgusting. I hate it. Del Fox is the worst, man. Del Fox actively makes Fennekin a worse Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, just, just the knowledge that, that Brakeson evolves into that monstrosity. Yeah. Oh, horrifying. Get out of here, Mike. Dude, what is that, Mike? What is, what is what even is that, that thing? That is that supposed here. to prove anything to me? That is nightmare this, fuel. Oh, bro, they look exactly the same. Look, show those photos. <laughs> they look man, exactly man, the same. <laughs> bro, you gotta put those up. They look exactly the same. <laughs> they look exactly the same. That's a stretch. That's, That's not a stretch. Look at her outfit. Look at the Del Fox, bro. Dude, which, exactly what picture the same. am I posting? The one Mike put? The hair one? coming out of the ears, dude. They're exactly the same. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Roger, Roger sounded like that one dude from What's Always Sunny, bro, where he's like trying to piece it together everything on the board. <laughs> bro, look at the outfit, look at the hair, look at Del Fox. Look at the magic Charlie wand, Damer. it's the same thing. It's the same thing. That's wild, man. Also, I, I, I'm not gonna allow people out here on Twitter and in the chat right now saying that Tepig 
is not a good starter. Anybody who thinks bro, Tepic is not cute, you're wrong. Shut your casual ass up. Tepic trash, no. bro. Tepic is not trash. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm here to defend Tepic, Tepic and his whole evolution line. Tepic's Come. whole evolution line is Thank dick. You, no, he's not. I okay. fuck with it. The only reason, the only reason people say that evolution line is dick is because the final form is not fire dark. I swear to God, no. if Endor, was, yes it is. <laughs> no. Stop. If Endor was, if Endor was fire dark, people would have been like, this Ganondorf looking guy is amazing. Bro. I love him. Joey Bro. tweeted. Joey made a tweet talking about which fire starter got to go. And he had was... Tepig trending on Twitter. That's how many people fucking That's... hate Tepig's trash. Yeah, and everybody that said fuck Tepig also brushed their teeth with mayonnaise that night. And so I, I don't. Every single person who was like, I hate Tepig is also like, Chimchar is the best, man. I love Chimchar. Chimchar is clean as fuck. Chimchar, Chimchar is disgusting, bro. You can't hate Chimchar, you but love Tepig. You're Char backwards. Bro. You're backwards. How could you look at Charmander? You don't fuck with Grookey. Like, you're you done. Look? Nobody, bro. bro. Your opinion bro. sucks. Syndical? Bro. Hello, everyone. We having a nice, friendly, healthy discussion. Shut up about talking Pokemon. to me, War Champ. <laughs> All right? <laughs> this man over here talking about Tepig is clean. No, the fuck he not. I think it's your it's favorite true. fire type, you scald. Tepig is only clean so. when I'm eating ribs. Seth, Seth, tell them. Tepig is only clean when I'm eating a pulled pork sandwich. Tepig is only clean when I'm eating pork chops, bacon, Can we sausage. Hold on, hold on. That's when Tepig is clean. Okay. Yeah. Nobody eating Tepig. Yeah. Look, <laughs> man. Can we all agree on this, though? Hold on. This, this. Nah, nah. This, this your fire starter? Bro, oh, <laughs> Kyflosion, the most overrated fire starter final form. This is your fire starter. Bro, what Wait, is man. that even? Fire headless. We, we picked Tepig just so that we can replace him with Pompadour Monkey. That's Facts. Fire That's fire Matter of fact, fire. you didn't even have a good choice of starter in Gen 5, period. They were all but fucking there. But you bringing up the Pompadour Monkey says to me that you also agree that that's a better starter than Chimchar. Because that is... Not, that a, is not a chance. Yes, it is. It's way cuter than Chimchar. <laughs> No. The only reason people like Chimchar high. is because the anime. They have like nostalgia. What? For Chimchar. No, it's because it's Goku. That's why they. Because like it turns it. into one of the best starters of all time. Because it's broken. In, in Inferno, Inferno is is clean no, no, no. Okay. But Inferno, okay. you have to judge them by the starter. Are you wait, wait, wait. So you're I'm not saying Inferno is sick. Chimchar? I like Inferno, bro. I like bro. Inferno. I'm no. not saying I don't like Inferno. No, we don't even. We're not even at this point yet because we got to address the Tepig thing. Why is Tepig clean? Because he's a little pig. He's a cute little pig with a goofy face. How could you? All three. Okay, I'll say this. That's this your reason. All, dude. All three of the Gen Five starters are great. Tepig is great. Snivy is great. What are you Gosh, talking about? No all three of the Gen Five starters are great. All five. You're high. You're off a of beam, Gen 5 bro. Hello, nine one one. My parents are yelling. You're you guys, telling you me right scared. now. I wanna. I wanna go off that topic. That Oshawa is clean. Oshawa's adorable. Guys, He's Oshawa's adorable. Adorable. All, three, all three of the final evolutions are fucking irrelevant. What is Zeph, this? Put that away. What, what is this, Seth? Zeph, put it That's away. when the silhouettes for Gen 5 starters got revealed. <laughs> That's what everyone drew. Look at the one on the right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone drew. Yo, See, look. What look, the fuck is the one on the not, right, bro? That is Oshawa, bro. Oh, oh. That's Oshawa. <laughs> 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 he just that got a big old ankle and shoved in his bro. head. I'm weird. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why the fuck we got it? Okay, show what you have. You've got to show that on screen. Please. He did. Okay, good, good. That's so gross. I like Typhlosion. Typhlosion's overrated, man. Cyndaquil's great. Cyndaquil's great. Quilava's okay. fine. Okay, yeah. but Typhlosion is way better than fucking... What the, what the hell's his name? Embor? Then Delpha? Typhlosion is so garbage that Game Freak couldn't like come up with his own stats. They said, "Yo, Charizard, copy paste." <laughs> but it's the it's Charizard, but it can't fly. Okay, but the thing about that is, Embor some dick. All right. Okay, you can't just. What do you mean? I, I love... can't just. Yes, this I can. Design is... no. Embor's design is cool. He just sucks as a Pokemon. Embor is, is cool. fucking dick. Yeah, at least he has his own unique stats. This, this, this man, whole discussion Embor looks is like great. Gear 4 Luffy, bro. Get this nigga the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> he, he, he does not look like Gear 4 yes, Luffy. Yes, he does. No, he yes, doesn't. Yes, fuck, he does. No, he's the, you're talking about like, like Gear 4 Luffy. Luffy. He does not look what? like Gear 4 Luffy. What? <laughs> he does not look like Gear 4 Luffy. He looks like, yes, go he ahead. does. Go, go yes, ahead, the fuck he what does, bro. Typhlosion looks like you're fucking Randall Fool. You're telling me these things only. Yo, Roger is crazy. He looks like Gear 4 Luffy. Get the fuck out. Here, bro. He looks nothing like your. What? Fire. He looks nothing. <laughs> nothing. 
They got the Yo, same body shape. You're telling me, you're telling Yo, me Emperor's out here with his fire blast King Kong look gun. Look at Red the Hawk. stream, out of here, man. No, he's look not. at the stream that. telling me these people don't look the same. <laughs> I'm sure they're inspired by similar things. They look exactly the fucking same. They're inspired by Kabuki stuff. That doesn't mean that they're the same, man. If anything, like, Infernape looks like Snake Man, Luffy, bro. <laughs> you don't even know what that is because you're not even caught up, you loser. Get out of here. Oh, hold on, you spoiled Get out of here. So yeah, Flosion does look like Randall. Hold on. Yeah, he <laughs> does look like Randall. Look. Typhlosion looks like Randall thing. from Racing. I'll give you that. I'll give you Typhlosion looks like Randall. I'll give you that. Okay. Oh, boy, snitching. Embor looks like Gear 4 Luffy. <laughs> Every Typhlosion Randall from now on. Embor looks like Gear 4 Luffy, and Embor fucking sucks. He's a bad Pokemon. He's ugly. He's slow. He trash. He's irrelevant. Shofu, just so no. I can gauge the rest of your opinions, what's the best water? Hmm. Uh, Greninja. Free. Greninja. Okay. Free. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Look, I have a couple for alligator. This is this 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 is barely a dis like we just throw our own opinions about starters. Yeah. Oh, can a, actually no, justify no, this. We, we can actually be here this all day with this. That's yeah. fine, dude. That's good. It gives us a good episode. People have been waiting for us for uh, two months. We're not going to shut up for a day now. We still got topics we left. yelling at them crazy. about how sucky yeah, how Swampert's. How many topics we got left? Swampert's disgusting, man. We still got to roast Robert. Jump Force. Oh, yeah. Let's do that right now. Let's roast. Let's roast. Yeah, let's, we can have a lot of hate in us right now. Let's use Death let's, Okay, force. here's the thing. Jump All right, force. I'm going oh, to say this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm going to time out. All right, I'm going to say this. All right. Shofu, you and I were both there. It was fun playing combos, but I gotta say, when I saw that leaked DLC list, I was like, why aren't some of those characters in the final version of the game? You and why, why in the world, why, why is the story mode so bad? Okay. The story mode is you... so, uh, so like, I can't even defend it. And I'm a huge Shonen fan. I cannot defend the story mode. Look, the story you know, mode is you know, damn all the like... trend nowadays is to remove characters from the final build so you can sell them later. <laughs> Obviously. Bro, Kaiba should have definitely been in the base room. Kaiba and Law? Base roster, easy, easy, so and then the they're out here saying they're gonna put they're gonna put biscuit from Hunter Wait, Hunter in there. The Come on, man! Come on. The cube. What are you talking about? Like Galena? There's like or a Goku? cube that went up Vegeta's ass, and then Vegeta turned evil. Oh, the Umbra, yeah, like the Umbra the only, cube. Yeah, yeah. That's the only cutscene I saw. That's the only cutscene you need to see. To be honest, there's a lot of bad cutscenes. Or, in this or the game. scene where Frieza just like flies away. Oh yeah, I thought that too. His model doesn't move. Yeah. That yeah, I didn't. I didn't waste my money on that shit. Dude, Jump Force has one of the in story mode at least has one of the worst difficulty spikes I've ever played in my life. Because you get to the end of the story mode, you're like all buffed up, you're ready to fight Prometheus, and then he's like, "Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna take all your powers from you, and you're gonna have to fight me to get through this." Now, the second time you fight him, he's easy. You just you could spam, you know, run into him and throw with the catch, and you're fine. But it's like the first time you play through that, it is. Horrible. Even if you try to just chase throw spam, it is not a fun fight. He could attack you when you're blocking and do 30% damage. That's crazy. You could be blocking and he could do 30% of your health in one attack. So it's is horrible. Like light not the boss of that game? No, light, light, you can't even fight light. He didn't even show, he shows up near the ending, but then he's like, oh, I did all this for the Umber crew, and then he goes away and you never see him again. It's like, bro. What? <laughs> He never shows up again. Uh, that was like the only reason I was even more remotely interested in the game because I wanted to write people's names down. He shows up and he's like, yo, I'm ready for the Death Note and then nothing ever happens. He's like, he's like, I'm ready to use my Death Note again and that's it. Uh, I'd rather play Black Clover. Black Clover's decent, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't play the game. I'd watch the show. <sighs> Man, you know what is good though? What's looking real good? I didn't even get the Rose is, uh, yet. Well, no, no, we can roast Jump Force. I was just going to say, a Shonen game coming up that looks good is One Piece oh, World same. Seeker. One Piece World oh. Seeker looks pretty good. Wait, who made it? It actually looks does, like, look, it actually does look pretty good. It looks cool. One Piece World Seeker looks really good. I'll say that. One Piece World Seeker is awesome. And by the way, I think it looks so awesome that you can catch me on the live stream at Bandai Namco. Okay, yeah, yeah, everyone, everyone just close the stream, unfollow Twitter. This is a Bandai Namco <laughs> game. Oh, no. <laughs> but, but, okay, go Bandai, ahead. Can, can Bandai Namco please stop shitting out these fucking... Obvious, like it's so obvious they don't spend any time on actually polishing the game ever. And I love Bandai I Namco. They're they're good to me. Too. They invite me up to play I their know. games. I know. But I'm getting I a little know. tired of these shitty ass fucking would <laughs> take a week to fucking make no no polished ass anime games that are all dig. They're all dig. Every last one of them. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> all they need to do, literally, all they need to do. I've said this to people at Bandai Namco. We talked about this at Bandai Namco when Hugh should not be named was in the other room. I'll tell you right now, all right? 
<laughs> say, only people in there are going to understand what I'm talking about. Otherwise, bro, this, I want to I wanna say that. I'll say this. I, I love the dudes at Pan and Amco. They knew straight Same. up that I didn't want to see this person that they were like, yo, we're going to put him in the other room from you and Shofu. We're not going to put him in the same room as you two. We're going to put him in a different room where he can record his own footage away from everybody else. I got to say, that was pretty funny. But I will say, all right, I'll say this. All they got to do is do a new Jump Superstars because that game was awesome. That was That's like a, a mini Smash Bros. clone, yeah. did its own thing. It was awesome. Make the awesome. graphics nice. Like, that's it. But I'm, that's I'm all getting... they got to do. Dude, a Jump Superstar sequel on Switch would be amazing. Amazing. That's all they need to do. But they're not going to do it. Jump Force is love... fucking dog shit, bro. Like, I'm just, I'm sorry, bro. I was so, I was, I wasn't so excited, but I, I was having fun playing the beta and stuff. And I just, I played that game for three days and was out of there. <laughs> I haven't touched it since. And then they, you know, Shinobi Strikers. What else? Uh, what Black else Clover know? Quartet Knight. Oh my <laughs> God, that game is dick. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. See, hold I, on. I've gotten kind of lucky. I gotta say, I've gotten kind of lucky because I liked Burning Blood. Burning Blood was fun for what it was. So like, I did genuinely enjoy playing that. I feel like the only one they really care about are Dragon Ball and One Piece. Like the Dragon Ball games are great. Really? Dragon Ball Fighters One's is awesome. Justice Dragon Ball Fighters, was yeah, fucking just... trash. Wait, 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 wait. Now it was, but it was still pretty fun <laughs> because it was unique. Okay. Exactly. Once Justice, was Dragon, Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, One Piece, Burning Blood. Those were all good, so they're not all bad. Show okay. okay. All these fucking. No, I can't say they're all bad. They all it's are just the bad. Naruto. The I'm Naruto not talking about fighters, bro. Fight. Fighters. You can't compare fighters to the games we're but talking about. Fighters has the most polish ever, bro. <laughs> you can't. You can't compare fighters to fucking black like black system. clover. But I can. I can compare Burning Blood to Jump Force, and I think Burning Blood is great. I don't even think I it's not that competitive, game. but it's a lot of fun. It's not competitive. And they have a really good no, but it's but it's a really fun game. It's like an arena fighter. Bro, they're all it's, arena fighters. They're all cookie cutters. I know, they're the but same I, but game fun, over and over again. It's a fun again. arena fighter. They're all it's a fun arena fighter. It's got game. interesting <laughs> mechanics. There's fun characters. Yo, I'd rather play Zaka Inu and some of the characters in a uh, One Piece Burning Blood than I some of the Jump Force characters. Though Rio is kind of cool. Rio from City Hunter's got a pretty great anime uh, special move where he. Shoots the barrels and drives in with his car. With that's gun? pretty great. Yeah, that's Rio. The normal dude with the gun. That's it. <clears throat> that's clean. Yeah, it is clean. I like all my anime uh, characters have nothing but a gun. Yeah. While we're talking about fighters and fighting games, though, let's talk about Evo. All right? Let's talk about that new Evo lineup. And let's talk about how Evo killed Melee, and, Melee. Then subsequently, and then subsequently killed Salem. Let's talk okay, about that. So yes. Let's... Go ahead. All Rant right. away. Who wants right. to start? So let's, let's right, give some wait, wait, wait. Before some Before we start anything, right... We need we need the background music, right? Yes. We need the we need the All important right. background music. I'm about to post it. Okay. This is Am I playing it? All right, we're playing this. Right. Also, can, yo, can someone order me a few McRibs real quick? <laughs> we play this joint, man. All right, all right. I'm playing it. Hey. That shit hot. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you is oh. good, man. Hey. A milli rock, you can't uh, yeah, see it, hey, but I before am. Before we start, everybody buy Undernight, play Undernight. Very good fighting game, easy to get into. Good tutorial, is cheap. Okay, heads off. Is it on Switch? No. I ain't buying it then. That's it. <laughs> you got a computer? computer? Yeah. You don't buy half the Switch games you get anyway. You get all the free. No, That's true. Hashtag, hashtag free game, uh, hashtag free product. Right, right now, and it's going to go on game. sale on Steam as well. Yeah. Unis is a pretty cool game. I can use a GameCube controller to play it on PS4. Okay. Let's uh, wait, let's give some, let's give some context. It's not PS4. I could play it on PS4. It's on there. You can wait. You can play a GameCube. All right. uh, the well, Mayflash adapters work on PS4 oh, oh, as right. legacy Ooh. controllers. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, let's give some context for those people who I'm sure most of people know. Okay. So Evo, obviously, biggest fighting game tournament of the year, uh, happens every summer. Uh, they have a certain number of games. The games that get in are a big deal, but this year it's more of a big deal about the games that we're not in. So I'm just gonna <laughs> read them read off. off. Okay, read them off, read them off. Yeah, I'm just gonna read them off first and then y'all can y'all can do whatever. So, in in no specific order, okay, Street Fighter V, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Tekken 7, Dragon Ball Fighters, Mortal Kombat 11, Soul Calibur 6, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Undernight Inbirth EX Late, and Samurai Showdown. Which, by the way, I think I'm Samurai think Showdown looks cool. I agree. As a fan of the original games, I think uh, Samurai Showdown looks great. So that shit ain't even out yet. That's clear. Yeah. <laughs> it the might not even Samurai be out Shadow before Evo. Really cool. Yeah, they paid the to get in. Well. For it. 
They didn't yeah. even give like a solid release date. Oh, wait, you can you can have yeah. a game that's not even gonna be out by Evo at Evo. Hell you yeah, know? you got deep pockets. They, Go they, for they it. Did, they did it with Tekken. Yeah, they, they did, did it with Tekken. Okay, but last Tekken year. is at least has periodic releases though. When was the last Samurai I mean, Showdown? It was it wasn't released to the public, and you can only play it on certain events. Yeah, no, I'm saying that it has many, periodic many releases ago. though, so people play people that play Tekken can still play that. Mm. Does Samurai Showdown have a what was the last I mean, one that came well, out? Well, Samurai Showdown, I mean, people have been waiting for a reboot of that series. The original game. It's very great. old. The this last, new, the the last Samurai Showdown game was over a decade ago. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Tekken, this, Tekken this, 6 wasn't that long ago. This game feels like the Street Fighter 4 of Samurai Showdown. Like, when you made that jump from 3 to 4, that's kind of how this feels to me. Which is what's getting me excited. I think the last one was on PS2, so... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Um, and then the second part of this story, uh, just so we have all the information, is that the big deal about EVO, for people in the chat who are unaware, is that the they do all of the games, like the finals are the top eight, and then they do most of the games on Saturday in the normal tournament arena, and then they do like games in Mandalay Bay, like the where they have all the UFC fights and all of these, like the arena arena on Sunday. Right. Right. Um, and then, so the games that are gonna be on Sunday usually get more viewership, uh, stuff like that. So the games will be on Sunday are no particular order. They have a release schedule. Ultimate, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, okay, and clean, Blaze Blue clean. Cross Tag Battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My game okay. sucks. In, sucks. Order, in order, I think they're probably going to start with Blaze Blue. Yes. Yeah, and then I think they're going to do Tekken. Then I think yeah, they're going to do Smash. And then I think they're going to do Street Fighter. Street Fighter has to be last because it's on Sunday. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so Dragon Ball is on Sunday? Dragon Ball is no, not Sunday. 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 Neither is Mortal Kombat. Neither is Samurai Showdown. I want to wow. know why Cross Tag is Sunday. I, I need they, to know. I'll, yeah, no, I'll, I'll tell you why. I can, I can I can give you an explanation. It's because the game is very quick, and they want everything mm. on Sunday this year to be quick. Oh, so that's true. That the, makes sense. They put the quickest game on Sunday. That's yeah. true. And they also reduced the number from five games, which has been the standard, to, to four. four games. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Last year, I mean, Dragon Ball was a lot of fun. I was there. Dragon Ball takes forever, the but it was a lot of fun. The only game, no, no, the game that took forever was Tekken. I was like ready for Tekken to be over. About three matches in, I was like, okay, I need, I need this to be done now. Dragon Ball was hype. Now it's super fun. Dragon Ball is a very, very, very good game, but it's, it takes forever. Yeah, it takes forever. Yeah, it does. Especially with the current meta, there's just a lot less hype surrounding the current meta compared to Evo last year time. The game has changed quite a bit and yeah. It's crazy yeah. though that uh, the Sunday game, like h half of them, are gonna have less entrance than some of the Saturday games. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, it's... with the exception of maybe Mortal Kombat 11, I think that all of the games outside of Blaze Blue and Arcade Today are gonna mm -hmm. have top four, top, mm -hmm. top four entrance. Street Fighter oh, yeah. always has yeah. really high Street entrance. Street Fighter and Ultimate and Tekken. Ultimate's, all Ultimate is going to be the most entered game in Evo 2019. 100. percent Free. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, but Tekken, Tekken or no Tekken. Uh, Street Fighter wasn't even the top game last year. Bro, Ultimate ain't gonna have more interest than Melee. What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the registration numbers as of the 1st of March. So, Ultimate's in first, Tekken 7 second, Street Fighter 5 is third, Mortal Kombat wait, 11 is fourth. Wait! Wait! Street Fighter is third? Wait! Yeah. Wait! Bro, Street Fighter wait, is wait, 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 wait. I clicked on that tweet. And this motherfucker blocked me. <laughs> oh, okay, so let me actually. I want to. Wait, so I want to. Right oh, come cool, on, man. Shit. Right for, okay, so for people who know. don't know, for people who don't know, the reason I'm assuming Mr. Wizard blocked Shofu is because Shofu, <laughs> Shofu said no melee, but Mr. Wizard's out here looking like a CRT. He tweeted that out. Yes, you did say that. You I didn't know he would see that. I'm pretty sure that's why he did say that. Like a CRT? All, Come on, all, bro. Yeah, hold on, he that did tweet. say he looked like a CRT. Hold on, that tweet. That, <laughs> that tweet was not like. That tweet kind of popped, bro. Hold on. That tweet, <laughs> got some that tweet. You said he looked like a CRT. I said he looked like a whole fucking candy corn during the video. <laughs> like it was built. <laughs> He bro, why was that fucking board. mirror dirty as fuck? Damn, he actually blocked me though. I was just joking, man. Dumb. Shit. No, you don't joke on the internet. You know this. Come on, bro. <laughs> he blocked me. I clicked on that tweet. I just see you are blocked. God damn. <laughs> nah, it's I didn't like even that? finish reading the entrance, man. That's well, what. Yeah. Read it. Sixth, sixth is under night. Seventh is Samurai Showdown. Eighth is Fighters, Dragon Ball Fighters, and ninth what? is Cross Side Battle. Dragon Ball Fighters is eighth. No, I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. Because, because because no one's gonna 
register until like a month before for for those kinds of games. Oh, I can see wanna, that. Because they want to see anime fighters are fucking pro broke. <laughs> I can see that. They're gonna they're gonna wait because the, also the big thing about that is that it's expected we're gonna get more news about DLC about season pass two and stuff like that, about fighting. Yeah. I will say this though, while we're while we're talking about the games that are Evo and the games Put that are Evo, away. this man fucking and all me, bro. <laughs> I, people were getting so mad. I didn't even say this in a way. It was like, oh, f melee, man. I just tweeted out like, oh, good. I'm glad to see that Nintendo is really standing behind Ultimate as like the the one big Smash game this year because it's sort bro, of it's allowing other games. I know, I know, I know. But it, I was like, hey, it's allowing other game communities to be in Evo this year. I'm sure there's going to be side events and people. Got so mad at that tweet. I wasn't even saying. I wasn't like, "Yo, I'm so glad melee isn't here." I wasn't a saying. Oh, I was it. saying, "Fuck melee." I'm tired of it. But people got it's real tired. mad. Okay, and you know, to, to help you out, Roger, somebody who got particularly played back from the melee Thank was one you. person. Okay, uh, the artist formerly known as Team Liquid Salem. Okay, that's right. Oh, now he's just—he yeah. just goes by Salem now. Now just he's a I wear a black shirt. <laughs> I mean, uh, he shouldn't have been talking shit, man. Damn. <laughs> the uh, yeah. EMP Salem. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, he's MVG still. I, exactly. Uh, that's why he might as well be EMP pretty, Salem. It was, pretty, it was pretty unfortunate what happened to him, but I don't really feel sorry for him. So I oh, don't yeah. think I don't think he got dropped because of his comments. I think his contract was up for renewal and they didn't renew it, and it just kind of exactly. Happened. It yeah, just kind of happens to me at the same time. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 There's no, no way. No, there's no, no way no. they're doing it like that. Of what happened the day before it didn't happen. I'm not saying it did him any favors. I, I also agree his contract wasn't get picked up, and I think they expedited the process of announcing he was leaving after that tweet. But I think he was day. already going. To they knew what they were doing if they're tweeting yeah. about it the next day, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah, yeah right. but they they were gonna drop him anyway. But it was just like, okay, we're gonna get this out of the way now, so nobody associates us with him. You know, I just. I, I think they got again, they got an easy way out of doing and, it. And Vera, yeah. Vera posted this, and I want to make I want to say right now, the Buzz is a very very good player. He deserves yeah. to have a very good sponsor. I Absolutely. That's, that's, however, I don't think he's on Team Liquid if Salem isn't. Like I just I just don't. You cut out. What? If Salem I don't think the Buzz is on Team Liquid if Salem doesn't get dropped. I think they're gonna have one spot. Oh yeah. And for I don't sure, think. For sure. Yeah. So it's like, if you know, good stuff to you him. Sure that spot. I I. Cause like. Again, this they had like three melee players. This is my kind of. This is me looking at kind of how unvents unfold and some other stuff. But I just that's that's the impression that I get because, <clears throat> especially with the quick turnaround, obviously they were in talks with contracts stuff like that way before then. So sure, I'd be right. But, but like Ken and Chillin are both with Liquid still, right? But they, uh, I've heard fans, well, they're going to be in Liquid forever. No, probably. I've yeah. yeah, I've heard like Liquid. When they, um, they really don't like, uh, dropping. You okay. Place. Yeah, they they don't. I'm trying to find the right words. They don't really drop them if they're not doing anything. They were gonna it's, they were gonna keep KDJ on even if he didn't play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like they were yeah, they were still gonna like sponsor him. They had like some weird uh method of like just keeping a lot of their players if they can. Mm. Uh, so Salem definitely did some uh stupid shit. He did. I mean, we don't know if that applies to Salem, though. We don't know who that applies to. The people right. that they have right now are, like, famous players from years and years ago. They're, like, like they've already made their name and stuff. They're, yeah. they're, they don't need to bother. Ken is that dude. Chillin' is that dude. Hungrybox yep. is the current dude. Like, and, I don't know if yeah, that... Any, like, I don't think any of that applies to Salem. <laughs> they have, like, four melee players still. And, and so. let's be real. Even if we can... Even if his contract was coincidentally ending right he obviously wasn't helping himself shitting right. on melee no, not at all when they have a yeah, whole melee team over there you're shitting yeah, that's on, the weird thing is why they have you, the best yeah. melee player in the world on their team and you're talking shit about the game that he played yeah like, that's what i was saying no sense. Sense. yep because yep. he had a sponsor in his twitter handle he had to change it and he lost it man he ain't verified no more shout out to my so, boy uh, cat, you know, bro. keep that clg keep that clg <laughs> Shout out to yeah. Cap, bro. You stay, you stay in verified on Twitter, bro. Oh, forever. That's my boy. Oh, I see you got here at the wrong time. You got here at the right time, McDerrick. How you doing, bro? Yeah, you, you missed you the fight. Okay? There was a fight. 
You, you dodged the the starter Pokemon fight. Oh yeah, you missed oh. the whole starter. Oh, I Pokemon definitely don't want to hear McDare's opinions on starters. Oh my god. Oh, let's do it, McDare. Please, let's <laughs> do it. Please, don't do, it. don't do this. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Come on. Uh, what? We're talking starters. Nope. Let's McDare. McDare, favorite starter. Uh, like ever or these? Yeah. Top, okay, first Tor episode. Chick, end of discussion. <laughs> please say Tepic. Torchic. Please say Tepic. Say Tepic. I hate Tepic. Yes, okay, of course you do because it's fucking trash. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> go to Texas and eat no, no. a bunch of Tepig, bro. Damn, he got moved. That's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just ask me for an opinion. It's like, oh, that's not my opinion. Gotta go. No, man. I, like, I asked you. I, I can't. Okay, I can't be held responsible for Roger's starter, action. Bro? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my way through. I'm gonna work my way through it. I'm okay. Think. Favorite starter of all time. Okay. Favorite starter of all time. No, it's not Torchic. Yo, spit it out, man. You should know uh, this off the top of your head. <laughs> Rob, are you in it. final you final Evo? No, no, no. no. Bust Start Bust Bust Start 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 Just the base form. form. We'll get there. I'm not. I kind of don't like any of the base forms. Any what? None. Not even pick one. So yeah, I respect that. I respect that because the starter Pokemon are just thrown at your face, and you got to pick one of them at some point if you're going to play the game. So most people gravitate I mean, always... to one of them. Right, yeah, I just right. pick based on final. Yo, yeah, we being real, really real, like like really real, like four D real. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the starters think... ain't shit, bro. <laughs> like fact. Okay, oh, okay, wow. okay. You mean most? Most of the starters ain't shit. All right, we'll, we'll let McDaryl go. Favorite starter this gen, new gen. Score bunny. Nice. Okay, okay. good. Your score bunny boys. That's good. That's good. All right. Favorite final Evo of all all gens of the starters. Where's the good? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's hard. You call him Betrayal Brand McDareth. Because like, I like go. Blaziken, but it's I don't know that's my favorite. Greninja. It's, like, it's gotta be Greninja, man. Come on. Right? He's also up there, but you said it's, it's gonna be one of the edgy ones. No, is a good choice. <laughs> there, you are taking all the originals. Long, it's probably it's probably Infernave. And there it is. Alright, that's fine. Great. That's fine. Respect. Would you okay, but McDareth, since you were gone, would you not agree that while Infernave <laughs> is awesome, Chimchar is kinda trash? Yeah, I don't really care about thank that. you, thank you. He, exactly. he doesn't care about any that's, of the stars. Right, that's my point. Okay, but that's my point. My point is that Chimchar <laughs> should be taken out of the conversation with Infernape. Infernape is cool. Chimchar is garbage. That's all I was saying. It doesn't make it all I'm talking about Chikorita. Hold Chimchar on. Tries? Chikorita is garbage too. All right, let's. Facts. Get out of here. Okay, now I'm with Roger. Yeah, you might be onto something, bro. Uh, Chikorita is bad. Chikorita now, now is tell him. Now tell him Poplio trash too. Poplio is trash. Okay, Poplio, I, let's... I ranked. I ranked the starters. <laughs> By type on Twitter, and people got mad at me because I put Poplio last for the water types. I put Chimchar last for the fire types. Okay. And the grass types. I forgot who I put. Poplio and Oshawa last. are in the same class, bro. No, 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 no. Pop. No, no, no. There. Uh, it's like Oshawa is up here in the middle, and then Poplio. <laughs> are is you like the, the fucking photographer? Are you the news guy in Spider Man? <laughs> no way. J J James. <laughs> No, 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 no. Spider-Man, no, listen, all right? Traitor, no. get me some pictures of Poplio right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but Chikorita's garbage. Everybody Well, Well, McDareth didn't start the fight I wanted to. Let's have another fight. All right, so what, was, what not... was the fight you wanted? Uh, let's talk about other fighting games that aren't at EVO. Why? Oh, Guilty Gear? Guilty Gear and Melee are the big ones. No, ARMS. Oh, my Guilty Gear. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. God damn. Mike, I love you, man. I no, love you, Mike. Thank you. Say that again. Fuck say it louder arms. for the people all the way in the back who you need to stretch out your arms for. Please say it again. Let me Mike, see how many people are watching ARMS missing? on Twitch right now. Let's what see. <laughs> No yeah, results yeah, found. Really oh my god. Yeah, There's not a single person me. playing this game on Twitch right now. Oh, oh, shit. Man. Zero? It's actually zero? It's literally nah, zero. It's there's, not like a, there's not a single stream. There's literally not a single stream on Twitch. Right, no, right, drop right, right. Drop right, 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 right. Drop right. Right. I know you still got arms. Let's go. Drop his right. There's no way you're dropping in the chat. Can we talk about how Roger eats cereal without milk right now? That tweet is irrelevant and has nothing to do with What's this wrong with eating cereal without yeah. milk? Yeah. What? That's, cereal, what I, that's what I'm saying, bro. Thank you. Thank you. You can eat cereal as a snack. There's literally no problem with that. Thank you. So, Mighty Keith, friend of the show, tweeted out 
Roger's base eats a cereal without milk. Bro, I lost 150 subscribers in a day when he <laughs> tweeted that out. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. Oh my goodness. Every last one of those subscribers was a sheep anyways. You didn't need them. Bro, Mighty, Mighty Keith tweeted out, Mighty Keith tweeted out like, yo, I'm so happy he hit 200K, but man, this this man eats cereal without milk. Immediately, boom, I lose 150. There's like nothing this. wrong with that. What? There's absolute thank you. It's actually insane. It's not like you're pouring the milk before the cereal, man. All right, you can it's eat fine. cereal by you itself. You can eat it without milk. There's nothing Easy. wrong with that at all. Exactly. Okay, like I said, every last one of them people that unfollowed you was a goddamn sheep, bro. I agree. You're better off without them. I agree. Well, let's talk about how ARMS is a good game. No. <laughs> it is. Okay. Oh, it's oh, Evo, no, it Evo is. Japan Top 8 was good. Evo Japan Top 8? No, McDermott, you cannot instantly say no when you play Pokin. That's enough. No, no, no. no, no. Pokin I, better I, than I, you. I speak to him. What? No, don't speak I, to him. I, I, Arms I, I, is big. No, wait, hold on. McDermott didn't saying, say anything. Those were champ. Not dragged again. That was me. Oh, oh I thought we, it was, we all know words. Okay, you good? Bye. The same voice. <laughs> hey, man. Pokin got more viewers on Twitch at the moment than Arms. Oh yeah, I checked the second. That was me. Probably. The Arms seven viewers. Is that the Kasama one? Oh, young seven viewers. Oh, uh, we gonna talk about we gonna talk about core values. I can't. No, what values. is that? What even is core values? Core values I mean, was like, at, at Evil Dead. They, they were showing a dead or alive. Fucking... They had a dead or alive like demonstration or an advertisement. Yeah. And there were some girls with like some cleavage. They were slapping each other's asses and shit. No, it was it was more than that. It was it was fucking players uh, using a move that makes it look like you're eating a fucking girl's ass. What's the wait, problem? Wait, what game? Wait, what game is this? Dead or alive? What's the problem? It oh, had a segment. At, it had a segment at Evil Japan that was uh, extremely raunchy. Like Dead or Alive is. Dead or Alive core values. Like Dead or Alive is, and, yeah, the and the they they literally cut the segment while it was going, and then Mr. Wizard they, made a tweet. They turned the stream off, bro. Yeah, they, yeah, they, and they, they also they had cut a, it, and Mr. Wizard had... made a tweet where it was just like, "This is this is not representative of our core values at Evo," and it became a they meme had, instantly. Uh, it wasn't even they had oh my god, these models like fucking just like. Cleavage everywhere, ass <laughs> everywhere, cleavage I everywhere, ass right everywhere. No, it wasn't even that bad. It's okay, not, I see the. It really wasn't that bad. Hold on, wait, wait, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait. Hold on, I'm gonna share this with you, Shofu. I see what people are talking about. Hold on, start at this point. Copy. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm posting before, this. I'll post it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. There you go. That's what people are talking about. That's what they're upset about. All right. I understand. It really wasn't that bad. Wait, this move? <laughs> that move, that's, 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 that's and clean. Then, and then we have a uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, Fine man, for value. For value. Okay, so thank you, thank you. Okay, that's yeah, something that, I've never really understood. That's is America. That they'll say, dude, I don't get that though, man. I hey, there rather... it is. It's just North America. Uh, okay, I'm going to make a hot take okay. right now. Mortal Kombat's okay. always been trash. It's never been good. Oh. It's Ooh. never been good. I personally don't like it either. Thank you. This is so, this is the Mortal Kombat didn't get Sunday. This is a cold take. Jeez. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't think a lot of. I think I'm I think you have to look for people like this. Right this. Mortal Kombat Eleven. Yeah. These are I don't think no, Mortal Kombat ever. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it looks the Eleven looks really pretty. Does Does anyone here like Mortal Kombat and think it is a well made, well animated game? No. no. I could go on a long ass tangent about how that game's animation is fucking hideous. It's the same with Injustice to me too. Injustice has the NRS cannot dude and NRS cannot animate fighting game animations. I don't know why. Even the hit sounds like the sounds of people getting hit in NRS games sound so disgusting to me. Yeah. I would I would still much rather I would much rather take a game like Injustice where you got Batman fighting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles against some dude getting his spine ripped out and I, like I, I don't need that. All right, I don't need to see some dude getting his spine ripped out and then the skull getting sliced in half and all this other weird stuff. Like that's too much. All right, give me Batman versus TMNT and I'm fine. All you right, like, you don't like it when Cage. Where no. are you at? Where are you keep going? What the fuck? <laughs> <is that? laughs> you know? Get closer to your like, mic, bro. Oh shit, I, I my bad. I understand my that bad. that's the appeal for some people. I get it. I, I'm not saying you know. I'm not saying you, you're wrong for liking it. That's fine. A lot of people like horror movies. I don't like gory horror movies. I like thriller horror movies. It's fine. But at the same time, it's like to make that one of the headline fighting games and for the game to not even really be that good, to be completely honest, it's very generic. I don't get it. 
I don't get the especially like when you said Guilty Gear is missing from this. Like, I mean, okay, like, but, but here's the thing, right? It's like NRS normally has a game. It normally just they the community just switches between Mortal Kombat and Justice. So like. Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out. You know it's going to have communities. They're going to put it in. And then if you're going to have cross tag and they wanted to put in Uniel, well, that's already two anime games. And Dragon Ball is there too, which is technically the same. So it's like they had to pull something. So they pulled Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear gave its power to Uniel. I'm okay with that. Can we talk about how it's the era of tag fighters? And Marvel vs. Uh, Capcom got left behind. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's sad. Yep. Yeah. All right. Like, please. like, has anyone? Did anyone see the the stream they did of the fucking Power Rangers game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, Shof- yeah. Shofu and I are ready. Hold the f- like, pu- are you guys getting the- it on PC? Fucking, or- oh yeah, it's crossplay. Yeah, never mind. Hold the it's fuck up. Play. Why does that game look so clean though? Why does that game look good? It was made, it's like it was it's made actually like a super updated port of an old game. So if you want to look up stuff, you can do that. The Battle watch, for the Grid game matches. that's coming out? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's on Switch. I'll play it. Yeah. It has crossplay between everything except for uh, you have one guess. <laughs> Ooh, I PlayStation. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, this game does kind of look good. I'd play this. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. They've only showed like half the castle. It's only, it's only like $20, I think, as well. Yeah, nice. it's cheap. <laughs> Mike, I know a couple people working on it, too. Like... I, like personally, and like some people I don't know personally, but people I recognize, like Clockwork is apparently like one of the lead designers on it. Yeah, so it was Justin Wong. Yeah, right? Justin Wong's on the. Uh, it's Justin oh, Wong. Nice. Really? Is Justin Wong actually a designer? Or is he just like a consultant? I thought I think, he was I a think, tester. I think, yeah, I thought he was a tester. And I think he's a tester. And stuff like that. He's probably a tester. It's not like uncommon for these games made by like devs who know what they're doing to get like top players to come play. But like Clockwork is like apparently like actual like designer on the game, not just like a tester. Oh. Mm. It's probably gonna be good then. It looks good. Man, as, yeah. It's got like as, 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 about, as soon as you guys said this shit about arms, Mike started streaming arms. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's streaming arms right now. Bless you, Mike. Oh, I love Mike. You're lying, bro. Are you serious? He's, oh, he's live up. right now. Let me pull up, bro. The title is number one arm streamer losing rank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just got the oh notification. My God, dude. <laughs> Yo, Mike is a god, bro. Wow, <laughs> Mike is a god, bro. He's the only person live. <laughs> I used to do that shit with Min Melee. Every blessed. time I stream Melee, I become number one. Because no one plays that garbage ass game. Wow, number well, one shit streamer losing ranks. Oh, do we want to talk about uh, Project Slippy? That shit's kind of cool. What's that? Um, so this guy named Fizzy has created a, I think it requires a hardware mod. I'm not actually sure. Sh- no, I think there's a way to do it over the network now. Um, but it's basically like a set of codes for Melee that forwards the the inputs from the game to a Dolphin instance. And so what that means is you can pull data from the running Dolphin instance. And so you can have like live stats for the match. You can Yo. do... Like HD <laughs> melee, basically, because Dolphin has like anti-aliasing and like higher res upscaling and and yeah. stuff like that. So you can basically like stream a match being played on a CRT and like actual hardware, but in Dolphin quality. And so a couple tournaments have used it already so far, and it looks really good. And Sounds there's a lot cool. of people. There's a lot of people like tinkering with it. Like, okay, what do what can we do now that we have like direct access to like what's happening in melee right now? Because you can have you, like you have access to whatever data is in memory, so like you can you could basically like hide the HUD in Dolphin and like design your own HUD if you wanted to, because you just you like you have access to the data in Dolphin of what percents are at and how many stocks there are there. So like there's a lot of people there like theory crafting cool shit that you can do, and it's really really interesting. Um, I think it's beautiful that 108 people are watching Arms on Twitch now. That's great. Okay. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> zero to bro, are you just live streaming Mike? Bro. Literally zero to 100. <laughs> He's live streaming Mike's stream. Okay, but the thing is, though, first of all, Mike over here getting his ass beat. All right. Second of all, this game is just as boring as I fucking remembered, bro. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Yo, arms is great, man. Come no, on. it's okay. I'm not saying that it's yes, not it fun is. to play, but it's boring as fuck to watch, which is why nobody. To watch, oh, for sure. I would, sure. It I would is, legitimately yeah. like an arms too. 
I do too. I want an arm. They need to spice up. I love all the characters so much in these games. This game. Yeah. All the characters are great. I like the atmosphere. Well presented game. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, on the, on the topic of arms, this did happen since the last Japan time. So, and it is like a new thing to talk about. Is it was a new party crash, and it was a lot of fun to be a part. I think it was like Springtron versus Min Min, and it was it yeah. was just cool. Min like Min they're won. building out the story. Yeah, Min Min won, but like they're building up the the meta of the story <gasps> while okay, people are playing. It's just that's great, man. Mike is in Gotta- there, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Mike's is jump viewers right now. Yo, everyone, go follow Mike real quick. Rocket Station on Twitch. Everyone go follow Mike. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Mike, did you, uh, streamer. Mike, did you give Shofu permission to restream, uh, this broadcast? <laughs> oh, shit. I don't give a fuck it's, it's if you or not. I'm here. What's up? Get him. I'm trying to see Mike get these W's, bro. Oh, oh, du- oh, Duff. Hillary Duff. Duff beard. <laughs> uh, Shofu, uh, under the rules set out by the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Who? <laughs> Bro, I this stream in Hell's Kitchen every other night, man. I love that. That's like my favorite stream on Twitch. I watch EE play in Hell's Kitchen. It's great. How does he get away with that? I don't know, man. Because he's, he's <laughs> EE, man. You don't have to ask questions. You don't have to look at it. I don't even look into oh, it. I know it's my favorite stream. It's I'm not... literally probably as long as Fox doesn't say something, it probably doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. One of the Meanwhile, on I, YouTube, I showed, like, I showed for five seconds okay. on my last Promise Neverland stream. I literally showed for five seconds the clip of Gordon Ramsay. Like cutting up a lobster, and I got copyright claimed. Meanwhile, <laughs> he's out here showing full. I'm like I said, I'm not complaining. That's what I love his action. Don't you That's get like 15 it. seconds of like anything? No, you didn't. I, I had literally five seconds of showing him like stabbing the lobster and then cooking. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying like I, I'm saying my. I Put think down. you'd be able Throw to dispute neck, that though. Bro. I'm oh, gonna dispute it. Then I'll just. <laughs> it's on YouTube though. So who I am not a lawyer. <clears throat> I do that on Twitch. It's like the Wild West where anime titties <laughs> roam in the emotes. Sure. Speaking of anime, <laughs> speaking of anime games, let's talk a little bit about Devil May Cry 5 because that game just came out this week. And that game's fucking clean. There's a lot of people who are excited about it, so let's talk about it. I'm going to play it tomorrow. That game's godlike. I have it. That game? I heard it's short, but I heard. Yeah, it was an action game. Most of them are short. But that, usually that game... The quality. That game is what Devil May Cry 4... And I say this as somebody that liked Devil May Cry 4 a lot. Just mechanically, it's the game that Devil May Cry Four should have been. It's a much more complete, really overall package. Yeah, the MC Four is my favorite one. It's really it, it. It takes a lot of the good mechanics from the MC Four. It polishes them up, and the overall experience is just better. It just feels like a very complete, nice. good game. I've heard two things about the game, and both of them have made me interested in playing it. But I have literally seen or heard nothing else about it besides those things. One was. Someone's review saying the game takes a whole bunch of very different crash mechanics and executes on them very well and combines them very well, which sounds interesting. And another person told me there's apparently an option to turn on live action cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And it's just like fucking cardboard cutouts and shit. What? I think that's yeah. a, I think that's for deluxe edition. I it's think. only in the deluxe edition, but there are live action cutscenes where it's like five dollar budget. <laughs> yeah, that actually sounds amazing. This sounds amazing. You can, I think they're all on YouTube by now. Is it every cutscene been... in the game is like that? I'm pretty sure. I think That's so. Because you can beat the game and see them with little cardboard cutouts, like Ricky Cocaine's old little uh, cocaine stories. Because the the <laughs> uh, they needed that amazing. for the reference and mocap and stuff. Oh, hold the fuck up! Let's talk about Ricky for a second, because like after we did the last episode, literally like the day after. He was on the server and created an invite link to the Japan Time Discord. What? Okay. Huh. So. The man's not dead. He's no, lurking. I know he's confirmed he's, this already. He's, I know. He's, he's not lurking. dead. Where are you at? He's, Pull him up. Where are you at? Call he's him. waiting. He's waiting for the opportune moment. He's waiting for his moment. I don't know when it's going to be. I'm sure it's going to happen at some point. It's going to be when Smash Ultimate Can I get the F in the chat for Ricky, please? He's, he's fucking dead, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Capcom's actually arms, been uh, killing it this year. They're kind of redeeming themselves, but there's also some bullshit that like I don't. They like take like they take like five steps forward and like take one or two back. Well, how was how was the newest Mega Man game? That I kind of missed uh, that last year. Yeah. It was okay. I I liked it. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm like I think I'm the resident Mega Man expert here, but like <laughs> I don't know. It was like it was okay. It was very yeah, average. It was, it was average, yeah. And they locked the best version of the soundtrack behind a pre-order bonus. So fuck them. They can suck my dick. 
I will, I will say one thing I don't like about Capcom right now. Why is Resident Evil 4 $40 on Switch? Yeah. I, mean, I, know the, I know the reason why. It's because people are dumb for that game and they'll buy it again for $40. I know that's why. But come on, man. It's, that game it's $40, $40 on the $40. Switch so I could pirate it. That's why it's $40. That's crazy. Yo, you, you're doing that. I would never do that. I got I got <laughs> Yeah, no, Roger would never pirate I'm, anything ever. Hashtag free product. There's no way, man. So My Switch has got to be right? clean forever. No, I don't pirate One Piece. I read One Piece officially on viz.com slash Shonen Jump. I was trying to give you a... Okay. No, that's it, man. No. I don't even I pirate was, One Piece. I was trying to give you a plug. It's okay. I'm a good boy, man. Can't be pirates. No Yo, I read all of my shit illegally. I watch all my shit illegally. I no, play man, all my shit illegally. On, no, no, no. What's up? Oh, my God. I, 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 <laughs> I just want to say I don't condone that. You got much him, boys. Obtained illegally. I don't, I don't oh, condone any illegally. What are they going to do? Shut me down? They're going to put me in handcuffs? And I just want on the record that I have never done that, and I am a plan. I'm going that... on the record that I have, and I only... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, who said that? Was that Warchamp? That was Warchamp, no, right? Was... Yeah, no, yeah, that was yeah, Warchamp. Yeah, Warchamp. Yo, oh, no, I'm yeah, Warchamp. No, who, I download everything Adam, illegally. Jesus Damn, Christ, Warchamp. Warchamp. I didn't Fuck. know you had it like that, bro. I'm gonna mute all of you. Hold on. You wouldn't download a card, man. <laughs> I will. No, except no, me. No, no, I'm taking everybody out. That's Rob Seven Elevens. Warchamp. Warchamp, that's almost as bad as when you requested using the uh, Streamlabs OBS exclusively on Twitch. That's wild, man. Yikes! <laughs> now we use Xsplit around here. Oh that's my God! Xsplit boys, that's right. Shoutouts to Xsplit, the latest gold sponsor of the OBS project. Thank you, Xsplit, no, for supporting damn, open bro, free software. Can't with Xsplit, I torrent Xsplit and I use that shit illegally. Anytime. No, no, no. Xsplit is just bebo. McDerris actually is. Fuck, Zeth, you're the one that actually pissed me off now. Fuck that shit. What'd you say? What? No, Xsplit is using bebo. <laughs> Dude, they're not even a sh they're not even stream software anymore they literally pivoted their whole business model they just like deleted the whole fucking app they're just like yep we're doing something else now peace Be what is bebo though it was a like, shitty copy streaming pasted app. obs and then That's made it their crazy, own thing man. no they didn't even do that they did it like the stupid oh. way where like they stole parts of obs code and then then just like fork it wholesale was it like a chinese or or north korean no, whoa, it's, it's... Whoa. Well, it used to be like a social oh, media shit. Thing, site yeah, they in. started. Wait, as, why'd like, you say? Why'd site? you say whoa? Hold on. Why'd you say why'd you whoa? Say Chinese immediately. Cause Chinese wait, shit is usually knocked off. It's what? Usually, whoa. like ninety percent of the time. Whoa. Why you gotta make everything seem racist, you That's bitch? Crazy. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. 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 Hold on. So, Don't so, speak on. to War Champ like that. That's crazy. <laughs> people, people around here. Wait, 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 wait. So while we're on the topic of sexism, who has seen uh, Captain Marvel? What? Captain Marvel. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, my man is the. Segway God today, bro. Boy, <laughs> chap, what's wrong He's with you? Unstoppable. <laughs> Roger is the goat, bro. What? I'll say, I'll say, I will say this. Captain Marvel was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be because I saw the trailers and it looked like generic drivel. And then I went to go see it with my girlfriend the other day, I, opening night actually, and I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Whoa! I heard there was like a was questionable I. scene in it. I, I don't know. The only thing, okay, so I, Hold I didn't up. even. Why you got to say girlfriend? Why can't you say partner? Okay. Shut up. <laughs> All right, shut up. All right. Is this what we're Enough. doing? I, I oh, yeah, let me get the hell up out of here. Stream over. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Social media got me fucked up, bro. <laughs> I, I, hey, somebody got blocked by Mr. Wizard. He's a different oh man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what I, what I didn't bro. understand, what I didn't understand was that I tweeted out that I liked it, and nobody said anything. I, I wasn't getting any hate. But then a bunch of people retweeted. Omni said something like, it's the worst B-tier yeah, Marvel movie that. or something. He puts it, and I'm like, Omni, why would you tweet that? Wait, who said it? Omni. I just got Which one? one? I just found Which Omni? Bricks. Which Omni? Young, Inferno. young egg. Inferno. 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 cares about what he says, okay? Oh, no. Yo, actually, while you're on the topic, while you're talking about people that nobody cares about, you were mentioning <laughs> Hold on. So hold on. Wait, wait. I want to I want to, I want to get dive into this a little bit. Oh, Coast Word tweeted out a couple days ago. Coast yeah, tweeted out. Why does anyone good, right? follow Sir Toasty? Exactly. Yep, get him. him. Yo, so I want. I want to hear. Wait, I want to hear gifts. this because I never. I never had anything it's, against Sir Toasty. I told it's, you guys, yeah. man. The guy's a weenie. You just be stuck oh, with it. because of gifts. Like, I just like his gifts are fine. Sometimes he's, he's a thing. Kind of no. He's Fucking I mean, mango. Yeah. Mango. Drink some water. Oh shit, dude! You gotta <laughs> see that. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's true, man. The only thing I thought was odd was like, it was a Red Bull thing. He took a gif of it, and then they showed it off on stream. He's like, why are you stealing my content? And yeah. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, I can't believe he said that. There's no way he said that and actually meant it. Well, he did. My man does nothing <laughs> but steal content. That's Shut, what he does. Shut. That's Shout out to you, know, you know, on a same hey, man. Maybe I should like him more because I, I I just steal stuff too. You know what I'm saying? I steal uh, music. I steal uh, <laughs> video games. I uh, <laughs> no, my oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, not he, to mention, not also, to mention, he tweeted. Uh, he called you e -E. Yeah, bro, bro. <laughs> I tweeted something and D1 quoted it, and he and uh, he called me EE, -E, bro. Since he right. goes, he bro, goes. You two right. look nothing he alike. Right. I don't understand and it. That, that, racing, the fact bro. that people call you EE -E is actually some of the most racist shit I've ever. Yeah. Seen. You look, you look nothing alike. You're not, just not, not even close. You're just both not big even close. black men with beards. That's literally I, it. I am pretty sure, actually, Viram. We talked about this in San Francisco. Like how people could confuse you and EE. -E. It makes no sense. Wait, I don't understand. Uh, people what? call people have. I think people have confused Doom for Attica before. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. saying. No, 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 no. I'm not saying people confused Viram for him. I said while we were in San Francisco, so I was there for like a Nintendo event. And Viram happened to be there still, and so we got lunch and we were like playing Smash and we were just talking about stuff going on in the community. And we had mentioned that it's crazy that people confuse Shofu for EE -E regularly. It's like yeah. that is wild to me. I don't understand. So I'm not gonna lie, right? Definitely watching oh, Summit and E was saying something. So I was like, wow, Sofu's really smart. I, I saw the exact that. same shit too on, in yeah. the chat. I, I chuckled a little bit. I won't lie. <laughs> but it's, the worst thing is, is that they're either racist or they're illiterate. Like, his <laughs> name's right there. It's like, not like, or, it's the it's both. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. My bad. You're right. Dang. All right, Sir Toasty's a racist. You heard it here first. I heard <laughs> oh, my. Oh, man. That's every kind of every bridge possible. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I, that's a joke, all right? It's a joke. He's lying. He's I prank. can't wait for the twit longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's coming. About Roger. No, man, no. But, um, all right, what else What else can we talk about? I mean, I'm sure there's other stuff. Uh, I had to renew teamjapantime.cool the other day. That was pretty cool. Well done. Cool. That nice. domain's sticking around for another year. <laughs> well, how long, uh, how, long, how long are we doing this for? This is the last episode. Until, uh, what are you talking about? Until, until, not the last, it's not until the last the episode. I think that just depends on whatever you show up. Not me. Yes. Yes, you. No. Don't say not me. This time it was you. Yes. No. No. Yes, it was. I was no. here. Not okay. Not recently. It was not this time. We tried to do an episode, and Shofu was just like, "You can't give me four hours notice." And then we were all like, "Okay, let's do it tomorrow." And then you never showed up. Oh, that's actually true. I did do that. <laughs> Because <laughs> Roger's out here fucking rabbits. Whoa, hold on. That's Is that what he's doing? Not Wait, true. So you're saying he's scoring bunnies? <laughs> Yo! Uh, oh, so oh, 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 he gets more oh, honeys. Oh, uh, my boy to he needs more money. Okay. No, no, no. I like honey. You're not wrong. And I like Lola Bunny. Okay. And I also like being out here. And making money. Okay. But the one thing that I think is Alpha Rad ain't funny. Oh, and that's the end God. of the show. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Woo! Good night, everybody. Damn. <laughs> Spent the whole podcast not name dropping him, only to name drop him at the very end. <laughs> he, he, he has the personality of glue. It's okay. Nah, it's jokes. Don't okay. worry, man. It's all jokes. I was waiting no, for the good part. No, it's not. Come on, man. Uh, this uh, is Smash Bros. Yeah. None of this is serious. It's not serious. Stay serious. No, it's not. Shit! Yo, who won that poll? Who has less personality? Smash tubers or oh, Let's not do this. Are we talking about that during this episode? Let's do it. I'll no, all right, all right. About? So there was a. All right, all right. Let's talk about it. There was a poll <laughs> that somebody put out where they said who has less somebody? personality. Well, I They're don't know right who the here. person was. Oh who no, Shofu retweeted it. I think it was. Yeah, I was gonna say Shofu didn't put that out. There was a personality in the community that said Smash tubers or Poker tubers, which have less personality. And then people went off on Twitter. And so let's talk about it. I don't think that applies to like the bigger people. It's more the people that copy what other people do. Yeah. Like there's so many top 10 uh, YouTubers for Pokemon. And then a lot of people copy Alpha Rad in the Smash community. So I, don't, I think that's what they're talking about. They're not talking about like the people that obviously stand out. But either way, the, uh, one them. thing about Poketubers though is like, why are they all named like. This this is a new thing, like in the the new age of them. They're always named adjective Pokemon. 
It's true. <laughs> no. It, it, don't say no. It's true. Yeah, like shitty shiftery or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of clean. No, that's like that's a good that's a good name actually. I like that. I thought it was like color. Like there's, there's green Snorlax here. Oh, that too. Yeah. Green yeah. regular green Snorlax, bro. <laughs> okay. I'm actually some of these names in the chat are pretty funny. Trash Tepig. Clean <laughs> <laughs> name. I'm not reading the one Aotano just put up. I'm not reading that one. That's not happening. Someone else can That's, read that. It's not even. I don't know. I don't really see the point of the comparison, honestly. Yeah. I I, the, I think the whole point of the tweet was just to make fun of both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all. <sighs> I mean, but I mean, like point, every though. circle of video <laughs> game YouTubers is fucking. A pretty yeah, shit. You just copy what does well. Yeah. Top yeah. ten YouTubers get a lot of views. So there's yep. a whole bunch of them, and they all got the same type of uh, anime fucking character <laughs> drawn that they add in their videos and and their thumbnails and shit. I mean, I get it. No, the worst, the worst section of YouTube are those people that like analyze or review shows, but they have an animated persona. Mm -hmm. You know oh, the ones I I'm talking that. about. That's the worst. That's the those are the worst. Howard, no, I like that. Are you talking about what? uh? You talking about Grade A under it? <laughs> Any anyone like that? Yeah, fuck all of them. Why it's don't like, you like them? Fucking uh, it's animal. just they always look the same too. Like you you you, ever, you know you know that tweet you see you saw the Yeek shit you know Yeek that game the garbage ass game. Bro, stop Ooh. talking about that yeah. game. The that main character out. of that looks like a a persona of those those people that review shows. That's what it, that's like. <laughs> I hate it. That game has ruined my life, by the way. So what, what is going on with that Yeet game? Because I heard it's done. About... It's Let's finished, but no, I don't, like, it's... don't talk about it. I'll, all I'm gonna say, I've played a lot of shitty games, and like shitty games can be fun, like Sonic 06. Yeah, yeah. But like, or like it or... was. I think it's legitimately the worst game I have ever played in my life. That can't be right. It's bad. No, it's it's right. That can't be right. It's not even funny. Bad. It's just bad. It like treads that boundary where it's like, it's not so bad that it's like you can just laugh and enjoy how bad it is. It's yeah, just like it shows that they tried, but it was just not enough. Yeah. It's just like, this is not enjoyable. Everything you try, everything you tried to do here failed. The yeah. script is bad and pretentious. The art yeah. style is hideous. Ooh, it's just none of none of this works. Let's just put that back in January. Yikes! Wait, what? What's it called? Back in January? What? Yeek. It's it's Y two K, but you call it Yeek, you dumbass. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be called Y two K, but they used Roman numerals instead of a two, so I call it Yeek. That's so Y I I K. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me look it up real quick. It's not a good game. I remember seeing the first trailer and being like, "This seems interesting. I would play this." That's and then what I happened saw to you. Me. I was like, yeah, I know. And then I saw you good. tweeting about it, and I'm like, "This literally looks like one of the worst things to ever come out yeah, of any." I, I was, was becoming increasingly cool. depressed playing it. Dude, what was what was that line of dialogue like? Where he self inserted himself into it to be with like the girl in the game? It was, it's wild, man. That game just looks like trash. So, some girl called him a ginger, and he was like, "Whoa, you can't say that. That's our word." That's horrific. Damn, every fucking yeah. trailer of this game has so many dislikes. Yeah. <laughs> is it on the Switch? Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's God. on the Switch. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You, is, uh, is Temtem? Is, I can't even say the name right. Temtem? Mm -hmm. Is Tem -tem, that coming yeah. on the Switch? At some point, yeah. At some yeah. point? That game looks kind of cool. I mean, Temtem looking kind of nice after the Sword and Shield trailer. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, facts. Well, speaking of Sword and Shield, we didn't talk about this. This is another thing people want us to talk about. That leak with, like, the bug dragon thing. So, is that a legitimate leak? Who knows, bro? Because it's an ugly-looking Pokemon if it is. That's a really ugly Pokemon. <laughs> Did you no see idea. that Nintendo trademarked Armored Mewtwo? Uh-huh. Wait, what? It might just be for the movie, though. Armored? Yeah. Oh, probably. Yeah, that's probably. probably for the movie. I mean, if the movie's coming out, it doesn't mean that it won't be in the game, though. Yeah, yeah. It it's just a... Movie. It's just a thing to think about because of the leaks. That's true. Yeah. 
I think that's everything. I feel like we've covered everything now. This is a long ass episode. So it was a good episode though. Felt good. Yeah. Talking about a lot of stuff. We should wait two months more often. This is great. It was a lot. Of <laughs> yeah. Please no. Wait. wait. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you at E3, where we'll be covering uh, only two <laughs> games: Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm sure. Here's actually the last thing we could talk about is I do There'll think be a Smash Direct soon. Yeah, I think we're getting a Smash Direct probably in the next three or four weeks. I need Joker gameplay injected yep. directly into here's, my veins. Here are my predictions: We're gonna get a Smash Direct on uh, April second. Okay. Um, and, uh, they're going to show Joker gameplay. They're going to show, uh, Master Chief and Smash. Okay. And, uh, Master Chief Collection is going to come out on PC this week. I'm going to just get this on my system now for when, uh, when they add Erdrick. Everyone prepare yourself for the Goku and Smash jokes. Just get ready. I'm warning you now. This is your last chance. going to be a lot of that, I'm sure. That's all Twitter is going to be for the next year. I'll say, uh, this is one thing we didn't get a chance to talk about when we were talking about the Nintendo Direct. That was my biggest problem with the latest Direct, like the latest full Direct, not the Pokemon one, was when they spent like 10 minutes on the Dragon Quest port, which admittedly looks great, but they spent 10 minutes on it, and everybody knows Erdrick is going to be the next character. Like, that's, yeah. that's been the worst kept secret. So I feel like <laughs> it was weird for them to not say, by the way, this is our second DLC character, when they were like, by the way, something new coming from a classic RPG franchise, and they play the Dragon Quest music, and it's right after they say the Smash 3.0 thing, and then we just see a port for like 10 minutes. That was a little bizarre. Yeah. Dude, um, that's, that's why I also think Persona 5 is going to get its definitive edition on Switch. Oh, it's Dragon Quest did, So sure. like. For sure. Actually, on that topic, isn't there the rumor that um, there's going to be like a female protagonist, kind of like how there was in Persona 3? Yeah, because the, there was like data mind or whatever. What? It was in, Hold on. It was in what? the file where it was like, you know, you know how there's a tra or a, a, there's like a code name for for Joker and it was Jack. Jack, yeah. And uh, Piranha Plant was like the the onomatopoeia for Chomp in Japan or something. Pakun, or Pakun Pakun flower. Pakun. Yeah. And now there's uh, a one that showed up called Jane, which was with Jack. So we might get a female Joker. Oh, my God. And you already know. <laughs> that'll probably sell the character more. I, dude, oh, if we get female jo Oh, man. The strange, the strange yeah. thing is, is that um, female alts for characters in Smash usually don't have different names. Yeah, so it could be uh, an Echo. Uh, elf. Well, yeah, Elf. Yeah, Elf and Olimar. Yeah, but Alf's not a female. Wendy and Bowser Jr. Mm, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Wouldn't the names, yeah. Yeah. Will well. have their own name. Wouldn't the Fem FC true. for Persona 5 be a different character, like in Persona 3? Well, yeah, no, because that's... you could... Is it, I mean, Ren is a gender-neutral name. You can, and then Ren's like the... Actually, yeah. Oh, go ahead. What were you going to say? No, yeah, because actually then, then it would make sense if it was an Echo, since then they would have separate files. Right. Yeah, because... Yeah. She, she, the Persona 3 character is her own thing. She's not just, like, it's not like Pokemon. But is the Jane Joker thing, is that under the same, it's like Jack and Jane, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're under the same file, so it would be like an alt costume. I don't know the specifics, but I know that they're related. Oh, man. I hope that's And then there's real. Brave, which is, well, y'all know who Brave is. Yeah, yeah. Now, who is it, though? There are people that... Think it's fucking it's I'm pretty like 99% sure it's Erdrick. People think it's Banjo for some fucking reason. Uh, Wait, uh, 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 for Banjo would be amazing. Hey man, it's uh it's Merida from Pixar's Brave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean bravely default characters or Octopath Travelers would be cool. I'd like that. It's cause like Erdrick is I think the thing is like Yusha in Japanese, which is brave, and you know. Also, people are bringing up um March 23rd. So 12 days from now is the new Persona event. Oh, boy. So the, I imagine the Smash Direct, if we're going to get one, would be right after that. That's yeah, my on, guess. On uh, April 2nd. Well, Sakurai retweeted something. It was in Japanese, but I had a date of March 29th. I don't. Oh, boy. Okay. About. All right. I can't read it, obviously. <sighs> That'd be crazy. I mean, if we got, like, the announcement of a female protagonist in... Persona Ultimate Edition or whatever, and that's coming to Switch, and then five days later we get a Smash Direct on the 29th. I mean, that lines up pretty nicely. I'd like that. That'd be nice. But yeah, I guess our predictions for Smash Direct, I would say, would be that home run contests, stage builder things, probably true. We'll get 
like a good five minutes on Joker gameplay and we'll get his stage and we'll see something about the music. We'll probably see like a Jack Frost assist trophy, probably get like, I don't know, some spirits for persona characters or something. And then at the end, I think he'll be like, by the way, we're already announced a new character and then it's Erdrick. Cause I think they're going to make E3 a much bigger deal. Like it's got to be a bigger deal than Erdrick at E3. I yeah, think yeah. Erdrick will drop at E3. Maybe Erdrick is big. They're going to announce. Like, yeah, he, exactly. He's the Japan character. Yeah. And they'll announce like a huge character at E3. That's my guess. Can Maybe I get too. everyone? I want to get everyone's opinion on something. Okay. 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 So, you know how we get character stage music? How would you feel if the stage and music isn't directly tied to the character, but instead, like, the character's universe or, like, the genre or whatever the, the, what's the developers do? Like, Let's say we got Erdrick. Dragon Quest music sucks ass. So we get a couple of that. We get a little bit of that. But then we also get some Chrono Trigger, some other Final Fantasy music they have access to, uh, just Square Enix stuff like that in general. And the stage could be some other shit that is a Dragon Quest. Fire. I think that's a possibility with other companies that aren't Square Enix. But yeah, I think Square right. is going to, we're going to get a Dragon Quest stage with two songs on it. And that's going to be it. And then yeah, that's why I was just Korean thinking because the spread between them. Oh boy, <laughs> the composer is such a piece of shit that like he's hard to work with. And yeah, he is also known to be he is an actual racist. The composer is, and he's yeah, like he's xenophobic, he's a horrible... racist, and homophobic. Yeah, he's a terrible dude. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get more than two. I think we'll probably get the the standard bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba ba dum ba dum ba dum. And some garbage da, da, da. battle music, some like Looney Tunes. Exactly. So that's my guess. Um. Yeah, and then like you guys are saying in the chat, I think we'll get like a big Western maybe kind of character. Ooh, that's what I really want. I really want them to have some character that's like third party from the West because hey, that's oh. the only thing Smash doesn't have. Yeah. At this point, though, like we said earlier, it's not even worth speculating because after Joker, it's like, you get, I mean, honestly, after Cloud, it was the same way too. But I think especially after Joker, he's going to do whatever he wants. I mean... Best case scenario, we talked about this a little bit, the stuff with the Xbox Game Pass. Dude, I would I would sob if Banjo got announced, but I would genuinely die of a heart attack if Cuphead and Mugman got announced and Cuphead is the main character and Mugman's like a DLC or an alt costume. I, I don't know what I would do if Cuphead got in the game. I really don't know what I would do. It's not going to happen, but God, I would love that. That'd be clean. I'd fuck with Cuphead. That'd be amazing. Whew. I want to say, based on like the fact that they're actually adding stage oh builder God. back in an update, I really, because the whole games as a service thing is kind of in shambles. But yeah. Smash actually released the game. It's like, okay, now we'll put in more content rather than Can't game. wait to get Steve with the Master Chief skin. I can't, I can't wait. If that happens, I'm legit. Like, uh, never mind, because someone's going to clip it and then never mind. <laughs> 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 you're gonna get you're gonna get Steve with a Master Chief skin, and the stage will be Banjo, and everyone will get angry. Yeah, I'm still mad about Aces. That game sucks. Fucking the character I want to play comes in the month before they stop updating the game. Oh, yeah. the game. Um, Great. What's the problem? Wait, are I they really done updating? It doesn't happen to golf. <sighs> really... It's gonna end like June, I think. Drybone's game is May. They confirmed that. I Didn't know. they say they, they were going to stop updating Splatoon, but they're still doing new Splatoon stuff? <laughs> and yeah, Splatoon, Splatoon ends makes so much money. When two years hits, yeah. then they're going to stop. Okay. Aces, on the other hand, is just like, we're going to release a character a month. That's it. Yeah, no new stages. That well, game's oh, marketing duped me, man. I was going to say, while we're talking about Nintendo games, there's just one thing I want to bring up. Because I have played this since the last episode. And I've been playing it so much that I feel like I have to bring this up. And give it credit. And it's not a free game or free product or anything. You playing Honey Pop? No. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no. I am playing Into the Breach. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. That's it a good is... game. Dude, it is amazing. To, to explain to people what this game is, it is an Advance Wars type game. But the hook is that when everybody dies, oh, this. you can take one character into a different timeline and carry that character over. And everything else resets, and you play the game from the beginning. And it sounds yeah. like that was terrible. I am telling you, this game is amazing. The soundtrack is really good. It's it is like genuinely fun. Yeah, so I've anybody, heard about this. I heard only and it's things. like super cheap on the eShop. 
I highly, highly recommend Into the Breach. If you like I Advanced Wars, Fire buy. Emblem, anything like that, go get Into the Breach. I had a huge craving to try this game just because I had seen it a bunch. And I like asked my roommate because I forgot the name of it. I was like, yeah, what's, yeah. That, what's an isometric game that like fucking everyone streamed too much? And I really wanted to try it. And so I might actually have to now. Yeah, I'm telling you, Into the Breach is well worth it. Again, this is not a free game, free product thing. I want to clarify because I'm branded no, a lot of the time. I just want to clarify: you should absolutely play to the breach. If you at all like the game Advanced Wars, Wars, right? I don't know. Maybe it did. I'm not sure actually. Yeah, I think it won like Best Tactics or something. Oh, did it really? Well, it deserves it. It absolutely deserves it. It's great. I bought it on a whim because I had a, a gift card from Christmas, and I was like, "Oh, I'll use this on this. This seems interesting. I'm kind of craving a strategy game." After I saw the stuff with uh, with Fire Emblem and. Yeah, it was absolutely worth it, man. Really, really good. Desert, it's just like Monster Hunter World Desert Best MMO. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it did win. Yeah, it won Best Strategy Game at the Game Awards. There you go. Cool. Uh, all right. I think we have now officially exhausted the podcast. This was a very long one. Guys, thank you for tuning in. We are officially going to wrap it up now. Uh, you can find me everywhere at Roger's Base on YouTube and Twitch. Where can people find you guys? We're still doing this? I thought we stopped doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. It's Come been on. a while. <sighs> okay. Plug yourselves. Go uh, follow Rocket Station on Twitch. That's Mike's. I haven't won a Twitch single account. match. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to go raid him? Yo, let's raid him no, no, and make arms. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I want to just screenshot arms with 1,100 viewers. Please, we're going to raid Mike <laughs> after this is over. I swear, please. <laughs> Shofu, please, can we do that? Of course. Oh, you're the best. All right. We'll be back whenever there's a Smash Direct. And if not, we'll see you at E3. Bye, everybody. Play Devil May Cry 5. Yeah. I don't know why I agreed. I haven't played that game yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go raid Mike. Let's see this. We'll play that game. I'll be back. All right. Oh, Thanks my for... God, dude. Everybody. <laughs> Have a great night. I'm going to go die. Have a good night. Please don't die. Why do I always turn into the punching bag? You know I why. wasn't.